chances, sometimes you get a bit of luck in football, we didn't get too much of that today, but um, we have to keep working to turn those margins in our favour. Hello everybody, how are you doing? Uh, and welcome to uh, FPL Live, Saturday FPL Live, where we've got slightly less teams this week due to the blank. Um, firstly, um, hello to everyone in chat. Hi, Sultan Saeed. Hi, I see George, FPL Anderson. You guys um, were expecting me to come live a little bit earlier, but unfortunately I got stuck in traffic. Traffic around where I live at the moment has been severely affected with all the uh, weather and flooding that we've had lately. It's been really hard to get around. Um, but yeah, all I can say is I'm here now, so I'm going to get the radio in my ear um, and we're going to talk about what's happened this week. And I think the main thing that I'm seeing in the chat and in, and in Discord at the moment is just disbelief. And no, we haven't been we haven't been teleported into a alternate reality where, you know, Leicester get beat by Norwich. Um, and then now, obviously, earlier on, we had um, Crystal Palace winning, um, scoring away from home. So... We've um, had a very, very strange game week. A lot of FPL assets um, 
as well. Drama with them being benched. I'll quickly go through the team news. Um, the games have kicked off. I'm sure if anything happens, I'll hear about it very shortly. I um, just need to turn this up because I can't hear a single thing at the moment. Um, yeah, but how are you guys doing? Right, uh, right, team news. Team news, we've got Southampton uh, starting lineup. There's a few changes. Um, Southampton, McCarthy and Gold, Bertrand, Begnarek, uh, Stevens, Ward, Press, Armstrong, Smallbone, Hoiberg, uh, Buffal, Shane Long, and Obafemi play, plays up front with him. Ings is on the bench. Um, nobody really saw that happening. Uh, Zayn Hussein uh, can't believe it. Um, James in chat saying Menteke got an assist earlier. Wow, amazing. Yes, uh, this game week may be rubbish. This game week is going to be all about your captain choice. Um, I really think that this game week is going to be um, going to be very drab um, for a lot of managers. And if you've if your captain blanks, you could be looking at a score of thirty five, and that's optimistic. Um, uh, some people are going to be fielding nine players. Some people are going to be fielding eight players. I got rid of Gaeta two weeks ago. Look what he has done since. Yeah, says Bill Al. I had him earlier on in the season. He was brilliant for me. Um, good afternoon, Big Big Dead. How you doing? Let's uh, have a quick look. See, so, it's all, so four minutes have been played in the games. Let's quickly go through the other team news. Burnley uh, starting eleven. Pope and goal. Taylor, me, Tarkowski, Bardsley, McNeil, Westwood. Cork and Hendrick, Vidra and Rodriguez with uh, Wood back on the bench, obviously coming back from injury. Uh, we've got Chelsea's 11, Calbalero. Uh, we've got Aspilicueta, Christensen, Tamori, uh, Alonso, Kovacic, Jorginho, James, Pedro, Giroud and Mount. So Giroud starting again up front for Chelsea and Abraham not in the squad, not um, nowhere to be seen. He's injured, out injured. Uh, we've got... Um, the West Ham 11, Fabianski, Cresswell, uh, Ogbonna, Diop, and Gakia, Noble, Rice, Antonio, Fornells, Bowen, and Haller. Um, need to see more of this Bowen, actually. Snodgrass is on the bench. It's uh, interesting. Uh, we've got uh, Bournemouth, Ramsdale, Smith, Ake, Cook, Stacey, King, Billing, Lerma, Cook, Fraser, Wilson. Rico's on the bench there. It's going to be very frustrating for a lot of managers that have held on to Rico who've had them all season. Um, obviously, Stacey's back now. and uh, Is Rico going to be someone where you're going to be getting out of your team? Um, Newcastle, Dubrovka, Rose, Lascelles, Fernandez, Manquillo, Richie, Shelby, Hayden, Elmeron, Joe Linton and Gale. Maxim sent Maxim. Uh, I don't think anyone that I know, fancy football-wise, has got uh, St. Maxim in, in their team, but he's on the bench. Um, imagine having Abraham Ings and Vardy. Uh, Opus, please tell me that's not you. Zaha should have got a minus one for spitting at the play. I haven't. I haven't seen. I didn't see the game. Um, Zach is really. He spat at another player. That's shocking. If that's true. Dubravka's down injured. Keep us updated on that one. Uh, I don't think it's going to matter fantasy football wise, but um, of course it could be interesting. I'm hoping we get some goals. <laughs> We've only got uh, six teams playing at three o'clock this Saturday, so it's a lot less than normal. Brian is shocking. Poor Ryan owners. I know. I saw that. So I think um, we. Well, let's quickly just. I'm sorry. I'm listening to the radio as well. But if we just quickly scan over what people have done in the mini league. So this is my team at the moment. On two points, I brought in Pereira for um, Lundstrom uh, before the deadline, and uh, that obviously served me really well. Um, probably, probably will pay off uh, over the coming weeks, though, with the fixtures for Leicester. So I'm not too concerned about that. I haven't got anyone playing uh, until later on today. I've got no one playing in these in these afternoon games at all. Um, of course, I could have up to four players playing later on today, assuming that one of Traore or Williams don't play for me. So I'd have to rely on Cathcart off the bench, who's home to Liverpool. Probably going to get minus points, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, that's my team at the moment. But if we quickly have a look um, at... I just want to mention Simon Bellamy. Now, Simon Bellamy, if you're watching, I, I'm sorry, but 
it's worth mentioning your free hit, my friend. Um, so Simon Bellamy played his free hit. Um, and dude, you've just had some real bad luck this week. Uh, Inyacho, Madison, Pereira all blanking for you. Ings being benched. Um, you're going to be hoping he comes on and does something, of course. Um, you've got um, playing at the moment. You've got James playing at the moment. Um, I just heard his name actually on the radio. Um, on the bench, you've got Doherty, Cantwell, and Hanley. And yeah, not a great, not a great start. But again, it could all come down to the captain picks. Um, most people going with a safe option with Salah, of course, or even maybe Marnie. But we'll talk about what's going on in the elite. FPL Challenge League at the top. We've had a drama as well with the. Oh no! Um, I thought um Andrew Fung captain Vardy, but he didn't. He vice captain Vardy. So Vardy, he's got Vardy in. He's got Ings as well. He's on four points. He played a free hit. Um, of course, um, doing so well at the moment. Andrew Fung, uh, two thousand four hundred and three in the world. Pereira, Madison, Vardy, um. And Ings, Marshall as well away at Everton. I, I, this this could be a really, really poor game week for Andrew. Um, but, you know, he's going to have to be hoping for points from Saiz and Jorginho because he's going to have to rely on his bench in order to re retain his position um, in the league. Uh, second place, uh, Amand Dillon, Space Monkeys on three points at the moment. Lasalle's playing at the moment with Pope. Um, he's got Ings as well in his team. L loads of people got Ings. There's no, there was no indication that Ings was going to get benched. And he's got Mount playing. Um, he's captain Salah. I mean, I think majority of people are going to be captaining Salah. To be fair, Joggernauts. He's captain Salah as well. You know what, I, guys? I would love it. I would love it so much. I'm sorry, by the way. I'm sorry, but I would love it if Salah gets if Salah gets rested. I would love it. I I, I know I own him. But I've captained Bruno Fernandes. For those of you who don't know, so Joggernaut's on four points. Um, but I have captained, here is my team again. I've captained Bruno Fernandes. I was going to, I had my armband on him before um, Steve O's stream last night. Um, but um, but um, thanks to Dre Zera um, and others that were donating, um, Steve O, of course, captaining the easy, the easy option with Mane. Fernandez vice captain, by the way, says a man, Dylan. Well, I mean, I I would love it. I would love to see um, Fernandez getting a, a good a good um, point haul away at Everton. A lot of people I've spoke to seem to think United are going to struggle against Everton, and uh, it'd be interesting to see what you guys think in chat about that game. Whether you think Everton are going to edge it, or you think United will be able to get a decent win out of that. I think it's going to be an open game, and because it's an open game, I think United are going to have the chance to play, get in behind. Um, you know, use the pace of uh, James. Um, Igala could even get get on the score sheet there as well. And I think Fernandez, watching him play, he just remind he's just he's just pure class. He's pure pure class. Uh, Denodes has uh, got him as captain as well. Excellent. Steady Trent with seven points today. I think. I think uh, Trent is a better captain pick than Salah today. I've got a feeling that. The this shock of a game week so far is as is far from over. What what I mean is I think there's going to be some more shock surprises in store for us before the end of this game week in terms of FPL assets. Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> what else can I say really other than the fact that we've just got to kind of roll with it really um, in the Challenge League. Uh, see who else we got here. Got block uh, block FPL. He's on nine points at the moment. He's got uh, Salah. He's got Perez played yesterday. Vardy who played. Who didn't play, of course, yesterday. Ings is on the bench today. So a lot of the familiar story. But he did have Van Harnholt in his team. Who returned him a, a clean sheet at least. I think Van Harnholt's getting bonus two as well, isn't he? Am I right in saying he's getting bonus two? Yeah, getting bonus two in that game as well. Crazy. Anyone in chat got Gaeta? Uh, Jason, thoughts on the Norwich game yesterday? I was very surprised with the result. Bilal, I was very, very surprised with the result. Um, I think that Norwich really up to their game. Um, really up their game. I, I, I think they deserved, they deserved the win. 
uh, Inyacho was, of course, very, very. I think a draw, a draw wouldn't have been a, a, an unfair result, but I do feel that um, Norwich did deserve the win um, at, at the end of ninety minutes. They played, they they did up their game, and Inyacho's disallowed goal was very unfortunate. I mean, it was very unfortunate. I mean, that would that wouldn't have been disallowed without VAR. That no one would have seen that handball. Uh, but that's of course why VAR is here now. Let's see if we got right, guys. If you wanted to come on and join me, uh, feel free to join me. Uh, but just give me one second. You're on the boom. Hey guys, how you doing? You live on the the stream at the moment. How you doing? I'm just at the petrol station, mate. Right? You're just at the petrol station, hey, Bruno. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, guys. Um, what's what's been going on with this game week then? Like, well, I try not to swear, but like, it's just been just a, a disaster, isn't it, for a lot of people? Yeah, pretty much. Yes, but if your name's Bruno, then yeah, definitely. <laughs> it, has, it has been a game week from hell for me personally. Well, but you've got, you've got to be careful, Jason. Bruno's a bit sensitive these days. I am a bit sensitive today, Jason. I'm just going to warn you. Okay, mate. Yeah, that's fine. It's it's. Who's your captain, Boona? Because I think it's all going to rely on who your captain is this game week. I West really am on the break. Three first one. Mo Salah. Mo Salah. Well, well, I'm hoping you're not going to like what I'm saying, but I'm hoping he doesn't do anything because I haven't captained him. So have I. I have got Mane. <laughs> right, number three. Anything going on? Anything going on in any of the games who's, that you're watching at West the moment? Ham, West Ham just had a chance. They were free, free on one, but the defender got across and now it's gone out for a call. Southampton one have looked more the better team at the moment, though. Uh, it's all it's been, boring, oh, it's a, go it's a goal! Hang on. No way! West Ham has the new guy! Si Bowen. Bowen, yeah! Let's go. For West Ham. Oh, clean sheet wipeout from McCarthy. Oh, it just gets better and better for all the fantasy managers in chat. Okay. Oh. I've got one. I've got Bertrand. That's even better knowing I had the Palace keeper in. Wow. How much is Bowen, guys? Six point five. Is he really that much? Six point five. He's a midfielder, though. Yeah, no, but... He's, he's, in, he's in as a midfielder, though, but that's a great price for him still. I'm pretty sure he's 6 or 6-5. Where is he playing? Oh, no. Where is he playing on the, in the formation? He's been, been put in as a midfielder. Yeah. Yeah, I know he's been put in, in the game as a midfielder. Where, where about He'll probably be on, he, might, he might be on the second page if, that's, if you're struggling what, to find him. No, no, but what position is he playing in the game? I mean, is he quite an advanced midfield? Yeah, yeah he's, he's been tried, playing he's quite advanced. Sure. It was a nice free ball to him. He took it well. Just saying it. So you surely think uh, Danny Ings should come on sooner rather than later? Yes, Boona. Wow. Well, that of course now that that could um could mean an early show for Danny Ings owners now. Just Four nils with the assist two. again. No Ings, no pie. <laughs> what happened with um Shane Long? I thought he was downfield. What happened? He's limping. I've not heard, seen him since. Of course, anyone looking to bring in Bowen, their fixtures are terrible. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna recommend the knee jerk of uh, of Jared Bowen. Jason, Sign from. Be better, say again. You'd be better bringing in. You'd be better bringing in Jim Bowen. <laughs> Oh dear! Does anyone know of this Jared Bowen for Hull? Do you, has anyone heard of him? He was quality. He was the top scorer last season and I think the season before. All right. Yeah. Okay. He's class. He scored like twenty-eight goals last season. Twenty-eight like goals, really? Yeah. He's re he's really good. Wow. Could be a bit for of a me, could was... be an FPL gem in the future then. For me, it was a case of could he do it in the Premier League because he's done it in the Championship for two years and I work yeah. in Hull. Wow. And nobody was Barnsley are losing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks for that, Paulie. <laughs> You're welcome. Boone, Boone is putting his foot down. 
Did you hear it? <laughs> yeah, I heard that, mate. Oh, no. oh nice. Uh, what's the timestamp? I need to hear back. That. Was that a, was is that a, a skyline you're driving? <laughs> so... <laughs> no, it's an M2. Timestamp would be twenty minutes and fifteen seconds. Nice one, Jason. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna add to that just because now I know that we're on it. Let me put it into sports plus mood. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> right. well, brilliant. One pound fifty gone. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've just been to the fuel station. You might have to go back again in an hour. Um, well, that's surprisingly louder than uh, I had imagined it to be. Um, he's a great. Uh, so, so yes, uh, Bill Al saying he's a great player from the championship. Good quality. Um, Cameron in chat saying restart the game week. You don't mind me me jumping into the uh, hangouts, do you? Just to chat to you guys. Not at all. Um, oh, close chance by Haller. Straight at McCarthy there. Um, anyone got uh, an Acker on with a West Ham win? Anyone? <laughs> I did, yeah, but it got defeated at 2.30 p.m. after Palace's game. Oh, uh, to be fair, that, that was a good question. I mean, you know, as soon as, as soon as that Palace result came in, I'm sure that... Um, a lot Newcastle of, uh, just had another chance. Mancolo crossed from the right. Ball looks to have dropped nicely to Gale. Cheeky wee six so would you say Newcastle started the game the better of the two teams? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, just missed as well. There's a little bit of pressure coming, I think. In that game at the moment, you're seeing no goal attempts in that Newcastle Burnley game. No shots on goal. It's been two free kicks for Burnley. Oh my god! It doesn't look like in the first twenty, well, eighteen, nineteen minutes. It doesn't seem like there's been a lot going on other than ball possession being for Newcastle. Another exciting three pm kickoff games. Yeah, yeah. How you doing, now? Are you okay? Oh, I'm, I'm dead relaxed now, Jason. Lama, do you think there's going to be a shock benching in the uh, Liverpool game later on? No, Wonder Weldon will be started. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder Weldon. No, I think I think it'll probably just be as as expected. What about you? I. I would imagine going on consist, you know, what Klopp's done in in recent weeks. I mean, there's no real need to to to, to break from um, what he's been doing, and that has been a case of just consistent lineups. He's been he's not been rotating. Um, hey, Pidey Pa, double the viewers. That's good news. That's good news. Um, I'm glad. For, hello, Francis Logan. Hello, Jack Parry. Um, Danny Ings, Vardy, Marshall, wow. Um, Bruno says he's fuming in chat. Over 100 people watching because the games are so... Um, you know what? And nobody is watching a dodgy Russian stream, says the no in chat. I've got the radio on at the moment and um, just keeping up to date with everything. But it seems that West Ham are really... Go, going what going well at the moment. Um, it's a big game for them though. They need to get all the points they can in yeah. these sort of games. Oh, definitely. Uh, has anyone Wonder anyone got any teams you want me to look at? By the way, whilst we're we're listening in and hearing what's going on in the games and um, we'll just quickly have a get... look for Nasu. Apparently, he's only got seven people. Is he Nasu? Yeah, Is he yeah. in the Challenge League? Yeah. I've got him in the Champions League this week as well. Where is he? Nasu. It's Turn On Delict is his team. team. You... If, you, if you scroll through the Champions League days, then that might be a quicker way. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's, yeah. He's in like the top 15, I think, in the Champions League one. What's his, what's his team name? Turn On Delict. Turn On Delict. Yeah. You watch, I'll probably scroll past it twice and people will be like, you, you missed his name. Turn on the delict. Yeah, it's good. this is way more interesting than listening into the radio at the moment. Um, if you click Control and F, Jason, you can search for it that way. 
No, not on OBS, you can't. Oh. Not that I think, anyway. No, you can't. I missed... He's, he's 18th. Oh, thank you very much, chat. Thank you ever so much. Um... <laughs> Turn is on, yeah. Turn on Dilik Nasu. There we go. Right, thank you ever so much, uh, Bilal and Devang and Padraig in chat. Thank you, thank you. Um, put the put the chess players team on, please. Magnus, where is Ma where is Magnus Carlson at the moment? Um, so turn on Dilik Nasu seven. Um, he's currently uh, ranked thirty six thousand in the world, South African, um, and he's looking wow. It's not looking good for him at the moment, is it? Let's be honest with you. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven players likely only to play. Wow. And that's, that's well, he's going to be praying that Ings comes on and, and Snodgrass does something um, off the bench. Because at the moment, he's looking at a disaster of a game week. He's got Mane's captain though. Crazy. Saints defensive double up gone after five minutes. Yeah, lots of people bringing in uh, Saints defenders. Obviously McCarthy as well. I know that Magnus Carlsen was doing really well, but didn't he drop? Didn't he drop down quite a bit? Someone in my league has got Ings captain and Vardy vice captain. Ho! Wow. Stevens. Yeah, Stevens has been like one of the popular transfers in for this game week. Yeah, I had them. Um... Z Zahil saying Ings is not playing. Um, yeah, not at the moment, but um, if it carries on the way it's going, I think he will be coming on. Uh, Vision chat saying this has been one of the worst FPL seasons. Well, while we've got a bit of a lull in goal scoring, and there's uh, the only goal in 25 minutes being the West Ham goal, of course. Um, would you, what do you have to say about that that statement, guys? This season being one of the worst seasons in uh, in history. No, uh, you've made it the best season in history. Elite's definitely made it the best season I've ever played. <laughs> For 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 the for the for the for the, the average Joe FPL player, do you think that this has been one of the toughest seasons to predict uh, and to set a team up um, over over a course of multiple game weeks? Like what I'm trying to say is, it's been it's been very very much a roller coaster season, hasn't it? For for a lot of FPL managers, yeah. I think last last season you could almost set and forget a good. Half yeah. a dozen or so players, whereas this year you're kind of more well. For me personally, you're kind of forced into making move. Well, would you say it's to do with the you know teams outside, other than Liverpool? Um, like, look at Man City. The inconsistencies we've seen with Man City—they're not winning games by massive margins as much. Um, and the inconsistency with like the likes of Man United, Spurs, Chelsea—you know. Uh, you know Leicester. Um, do you just think that um, you know these teams, which you kind of used to look at and think, yeah, they're a bit of a bank, no, you know, a bit of a no-brainer? Do you just think that this has been a lot of surprises this year in terms of them dropping points to teams which you wouldn't have really predicted them to do so, and that's affected yeah. FPL as a result? Yeah, definitely. And I think there's, I think there's probably a lot of like um, set and forget managers that are probably doing better than people that are concentrating on it week on week yeah well what you need to do is look at the premier league table don't you and you can see that it's just been a blanket almost other than liverpool it's just been a, a blanket of just no there's not been a consistent club that's been scoring week in week out winning week in week out um, I mean, the, the, I mean, uh, looking at Sheffield United, they're you know, they're, other than Liverpool, I would say Sheffield United have had um, just an amazing season. 
um, yeah. where they are at the moment. And Chris Wilder's just done a, a superb job there. Um, um, Liverpool haven't even been at their best. Mostly, this is this is a good this is a good um, statement from Denodis in chat. Liverpool haven't even been at their best. Mostly, and I would agree with that. They haven't. Salah's not been at his best. Um, and they've dropped just two points. That's how bad everyone else is. I mean, they've just been grinding out the results. The, the same as what United used to do. That's what United used to do. They used to win a game 1-0. You know, some of the games that United used to win when they used to, when we were winning championships, they weren't the most thrilling. Of course, we had seasons where we, you know, we had a great, um, you know, hall, we had halls coming through against lesser teams. But a lot of the time, it was just grinding out those 1-0s. Um Game week thirty one will be carnage. Say what's again? No, I think it's true. Like what you're saying, it's like you've got Liverpool out there, obviously at top, up on top. Yeah, top of the perch, but and rightly so. Then, Everyone else has been then, mediocre. Everything, yeah, everything else has just been rotten, pretty much. Hence why, for me, and I think a lot of other managers, you end up just, you know, you're trying to just predict who's going to be on form next, and then it just roller coasters into another team. Yeah, I just, I just think that um, there is a very big gap between, um, not just points-wise, but I think in just terms of consistency between Liverpool and the rest of the teams in the Premier League. Um, and hopefully next year we can look at we can look at um, that gap being reduced and it be a bit more of a an even playing field. What were you saying, Lama? Do you think people will be put off? FPL next season. Well, I, I think that I think that um, when you, in a way, in a weird way, this season's been good in in the sense that people have been forced to think of players that they wouldn't normally think of. Um, that, 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 like you said yourself, the template there's not been. A, a real template through the season for me. Like, yeah, of course, the three Liverpool for me has been, um, it's pretty much been a staple. Um, two two midfielders, one defender, one, or two defenders, one midfielder. But I wouldn't say there's been a, a, a template per se all the way through the season that people have, like, like you compared to last season where it was almost like you could just transfer in one player every game week, you know, but stick to the main bulk of your squad you know, you had the like, you know, the likes of Wan Bissaka and um, yeah, who was who was just absolutely well. This year's John Lundstrom almost. Um, well, obviously, Lundstrom playing way more attacking. No, but I just think what, I guess what I'm trying to say is it's, it's been more interesting as a season, but with that, it's been very int- it's been very frustrating as well. Yeah, I think that's the best way of summarising. Oh, oh. Is that- Hang on. Southampton have scored. Oberfemi have scored a goal. I think Armstrong with the assist. I'm a bit behind. I'll let you know when it comes on. Oberfemi. Who got the assist? I think he said Armstrong. Oh, hang on. Hang on. No, no, I think it's Ward Prowse. Yeah, it, was. it is. It is Ward Prowse. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds like it's um. Wow. And the other team in Sheffield have now gone three 0 down inside thirty minutes at home to Derby. Oh dear. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so, <laughs> do you think Ings will be? What do you think Ings will be brought on in this game? Have you re- have you seen the the notes from um Hassan Hootel, what he said on Danny Ings? I haven't, no. I I'll read it to you. Let me just find it, mate. Is this where's this been leaked from then? Uh, it's not leaked. This is actually what Hassan Hootel said. What in the press it, um... conference? One sec, let me just find it. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
It's a nice touch. So yeah, this is what this is goal. from the Southampton Twitter page. <clears throat> yeah. Danny had problems during the week, and I wasn't sure if he would be able to make the bench. He trained yesterday for the first time, and I decided to take him. If I don't need him, I will leave him on the bench. But you never know. Doesn't sound very promising. <clears throat> wow. Okay, all possibly a goal at Chelsea. Stand by. Stand by. Possibly a goal at Chelsea. There's a something going on at Chelsea. Chelsea one 0 I think. Hang on. Waiting to hear about it. Uh, Cove Rangers are beating Something's happening at the moment still at Chelsea. <laughs> Come on. They're, they're, they're still talking about Derby County. We don't care about that. That's what... There's been a goal at Chelsea. Chelsea 1 0. Giroud scored. Reese James got assist. Wow. Alonso. Oh my days. Isn't that a Giroud assist? Alonso got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giroud yeah, yeah. Alonso in his face. Yeah, yeah. Who's, who's got Alonso in? No way! Have you got Giroud? <laughs> hey, Boona, you you seem a bit more per bit more chirpy now than than about fifteen minutes fifteen minutes ago when I first spoke to you. Oh my days! Let's go, baby, baby B. Where you at, bro? Where you at? Yeah. All right, hang on, hang on. Let's bring up Boona's team then, because. I can't believe you got you got Juru and Alonso in you. So, wow, God is great. That's all he thought. Yeah, Juru hit the crossbar and bounced back to Alonso, and he just smashed it. In. Buna, where are you in the cash league? Do you know? Oh, you're oh, you're God, miles you're high, miles baby. up. Eighteenth. <clears throat> so free hit played. Got Dubravka in goal at the moment. You've got Alonso, who's going to be on a big points score now. Um, Giroud. I think Giroud should just be starting games. Giroud 6.5. Have you seen his fixtures for the, the run up to the end? You know, run up to the end of the season. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Marcus Alonso. Oh, Marcus Alonso. <laughs> it's quiet. <laughs> Just coming from a Spurs fan. FPL <clears throat> is life, mate. FPL is life. So he, so, he played 22 minutes at home to United. And obviously, that's he didn't do, didn't, um, didn't do anything there in the 22. But then, at home to Tottenham, he scored. And now, away at Bournemouth, he scored. Excellent. Could be, could be one to uh, possibly look at getting in then. Olivier Giroud, I think. Look at those fixtures. Look at those fixtures, guys. Possible, possible. Yeah. If he can nail that spot in this, if he can get starts, I don't know. Could be someone different, couldn't it? What's your thoughts on that? Do you think I'm? Do you think it's pie in the sky, or do you think Giroud could be a serious option? If I was going to pick a Chelsea player, I'd pick Reese James. Just on today. You know, you know the funny thing is, Reese James crossed the ball for the header that Giroud hit the crossbar against, and it came out to Alonso. <laughs> like, Reese James has been hitting the corners in this game as well. Reese James could be a good transfer as well, then. Five million. Is this? Five million. Reese James is five million. Oh. Cathcart to Reese James. What do you reckon, guys? That's nice. Yeah. What's a, what's a weird game week this has been. What do you reckon, chat? What do you reckon, chat? Cathcart to Reese James. I'm not doing it now, but I, I like that transfer. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, go! Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh no! Oh, hang on! No, it's not a goal. Then do this to us, Jason. It's been, it's been, it was a a free header, but a you shocking, a shocking miss. Apparently, the the commentator was like screaming. 
Giroud just missed an open goal, basically. Yeah, but it was literally, I just heard him screaming in my ear, and I thought, well, that's got to be a goal, otherwise he wouldn't be screaming. But it's apparently a one of those where how did he miss it moments. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! You, you don't need to ban me because I didn't. I didn't mention a goal to anyone. I just said it could be a goal. I didn't say a goal to this club. Um. Man, this James is just—he looks unbelievable. Like in the first half hour watching this. Well, I've been looking to get a repl- obviously, you know, when I look at doing a bench boost, um, I'm going to need to get a balanced team that's um, almost sure starters throughout. So, uh, Rhys James could be certainly someone that I'll be looking very closely at. Yeah, he's might nailed that, that right back. Might do to Tanga to him. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Christoph, how you doing? Shocking game week, says Alex, Alex A in chat. Kath can't do anybody, says Dan is in chat. Um, shocking game week, but I will. Uh, but I have captained Giroud. Really? What? Wow, Alex. Wow. Wow, fair play to you, my friend. Fair play. Uh, don't ban Jason. I'll have to watch one of these awful games, says Donodas in chat. Um, best time to use a wild card? Uh, probably now, if you haven't used it already. Um, I would probably say use your wild card to set up for a, or to navigate um, around or into a double game week. You want to wait for the FA Cup fixtures coming up this midweek, though? Yeah, if you haven't, if you haven't used it now, just wait. Wait until you know more. Um, lots of people will be benching issues next week with all the great fixtures. Um, I don't. I don't have any benching issues. I don't have any benching issues next week. Um, did I captain Lu- Bruno in the end? Yes, I did, Lewis Kirkby. I did captain Bruno in the end. Uh, my team is here. There's captain on Bruno Fernandes. My team next week, my bench is uh, Dendonka, Cathcart, Williams. Um... I actually kind of like my team for next week, assuming that Tra- I, I really hope that Traore plays against Brighton. Um, I haven't made a transfer, but West Ham have scored. West Ham have scored. Oh, Danny Ings could be coming on then. The Hall has scored. Halea. Halea with a goal for West Ham. Wow. Minus one for that Southampton defence. Wizzy's going to be happy, isn't he? West Ham's suddenly in a patch of form at the moment, it would seem. You're, you're, you're <laughs> West Ham's good command. Wizz is now here. This is brilliant. Keep scoring goals. To get rid of those McCarthy points. Um, hang on. Oh, hang on, hang on. Apparently it's a thumbled... It's a thumbled... The goalkeeper yeah. stumbled the ball. It looks like yeah. it looks like Haller's blocking Carthy from getting to the ball. But it must be a clear and obvious error. So if the referee's not deemed it a foul, the VAR can't overrule it unless it's a clear and obvious area. So so it needs to be a clear foul. It's been given. It's been given, yeah? All right, cool. I deal. Yeah, there we go. Goal stand. Sorry, Bilal. The goal stands. Um, Christoph says in chat. And, and Tony, I got the assist. This game week is the first game week I brought in the Leicester defender. That's how my game week goes. <laughs> Christoph, that I, it, logical. To be honest with you, logical. I can see why you brought him in for this week. I really don't want my old team back after this free hit. <laughs> <laughs> You're on 18 points already, bro. That's ridiculous. Yeah, a long way to go, you know. Yeah, but he's had 10 players play, though. Has he? No, I'm only joking. Anyone else uh, having a shocking game week? I-, I like to look at teams that aren't doing well just to make myself feel better. All right, let's have a quick look at Steve-O's team, shall we? Uh, (laughs) (laughs) 
Right, so Steve did a minus 12, purely out of his own... I, don't, I literally don't know why. He can't uh, be in positive figures yet. He is an in positive figure. He's minus 10 at the moment. So, so Steve-O, um, he's done this stupid thing that he... Do you know what? I'm going to call Steve-O out. Because he calls people that does this immature... Um, stu- like, I, I think his words were pointless and immature. People that put players that aren't blanking in their teams and bench the ones that are so that their points don't show true until the end of the game week. Pointless and immature, Steve-O. Absolutely pointless and immature. Um, minus 12, 10, 10 points for Steve-O. Ings, bench, please don't come. Uh, Ings, come on for one point and get a yellow card. Please, please come on and get yourself a yellow card. I would love it so much and I know a lot of people in chat would go crazy if that happened but you know what you're all rivals as Steve would say um, but no he's Captain Mane um, he was going to captain Alexander Arnold we got bailed out the last minute with, by Dre Zera um, but yeah I, I, I don't see many points in that team possibly other than from the, the double well the triple Liverpool and um, Fernandez. He's got Yotta and Jimenez, of course. What's going on there? Alon- oh, yeah, he's B- Boone is uh, just, um, showing off the fact that he's got Alonso in it. You wouldn't be bringing in Alonso in your team unless you uh, did a free hit, of course, and that's exactly what Boone did. Um, it's fine. It's, um, it's so that if you lose the internet for the rest of the season, you still end up with a good score. Uh, <laughs> or Corona strikes. That that's a serious thing. This coronavirus. Um, I think France now. France now are banning gatherings of over five thousand people. Uh, could could you guys honestly think it's going to get to the point where we're going to see games, maybe even before the end of this season, or maybe even in the, in a matter of weeks or months, be, being played behind closed doors with um, well, all of um, see uh, Italian games are off today. Aren't they? No, the I think was five, I think. Was it? Was there five cancelled games? I, I thought I saw a, 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 an alert come up, but I, I'm sure someone can give me the, the accurate number. But um, in all seriousness, it, it is quite alarming. Um, Seri- five imagine, five Serie A games cancelled. Can you imagine if Liverpool never got awarded the title because of a coronavirus? Uh, I, now, now, look, look. Um, it would... It would just be very crazy to think that the the first Premier League title that Liverpool win, <laughs> that none of their fans would be there to see it in flesh. That would be that just would clop there with the trophy by That would be just crazy. I'm so as a United fan, and I can't stand Liverpool. I really can't. But. I just think that if that was to happen, I even I would be like gutted for them. I would because they 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 literally have played played everyone else off the park. I mean, they've been consistent, and it, it's it could happen, guys. It genuinely could happen this season that games will be played um, with no one there. I know, especially with the European Championships right at the back of it. Yes, European Championships. The Olympics is already being um, a massive doubt. Um, the Geneva Motor Show was cancelled in Switzerland. That's a massive event. Um, you just heard now that France have uh, cancelled all gatherings of over 5,000 people. Italy have had it really bad. But the, but the point being is... Uh, let's just, let's... They had a rugby game cancelled as well, didn't they? Yeah, I think they did. I think it's, it's just hope that they get... They, this, this whole thing just kind of just fizzles out um Pradler and chat saying Olympics has been cancelled as it I don't think it's been confirmed cancelled is it unless that's something which has happened isn't it in Tokyo uh, not sure to be honest it's not being officially banned but the and talks about it. There's no official. There's no official um, cancellation. Stephen's just got. Hey, say again. 
Steve, Jack Stevens just got a yellow. Oh, you love to see it. Bruce got him. <laughs> you were joking. Did he actually? Yeah. So yeah, Bruce. All oh, right. Did he actually get it? Yeah, yeah. Well, I. I, I oh. So, what do you think the game week average score is going to be this evening? I bet you it'll be about 28 because Galler will get a haul. Oh. <laughs> if Sally gets a haul, there will be more than 28. So, does anyone want to know what the average at the moment is? Go for it. Top 10k. The average score at the moment is 6.69. Minus uh, 1.1, um, taking into account people taking hits. You're looking at a 5.59 average score in the top 10k. Um, in the overall rankings, it's uh, even worse, um, as, it, as it usually is. It's 6.09, taking into account hits. 5.41 but of course a lot of players yet to play for the majority of people um crazy um liverpool are unbeatable even the coronavirus won't stop us says godwin affa not saying they're going to stop no 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 i'm not saying the no the coronavirus won't stop liverpool winning the league but what i'm saying it's going to it's going to massively impact i think um the enjoyment of the fans celebrating the win that's that was my point. Um, average thirty seven. I am on three points at the moment. Says Dan Odes. Stevens on a minus one. Says uh, James in chat currently. Don't worry, James. He's he can always get. You can get sixty minutes point. So you you might just break even. Um, Godwin. I'm on five with another five on my bench. Um, <laughs> Fire tug. I'm on the same as you. Two. Oh no, I'm not actually. I did a, I did a minus four, didn't I? So I'm on I'm on minus two. So you're you're four points better off than I am. How many um, players have you had playing Firetog? They won't cancel the Antiques Roadshow. That would survive a nuclear war. God, it's been going forever. Um, where are we then? Where are we at the moment? Half time, guys. Half time. What's your thoughts? Um, this game week's just um, throwing up a lot of surprises, isn't it? I mean, that's, that's a bit of a... Understatement, I, I know, but um, other than Boona, I think everyone's kind of a bit dejected. Don't all talk at once. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting here on a minus two just now. So yeah, I'm on a minus. Well, uh, who's your captain, Lama? Salah. Oh, you're boring. I'm on two points and I've had five players play. I do have a cat outside the door. Yes, the cat wants to come in. Let's let the cat in. One second, guys. All right. You know the game week's getting bad when live FPL's now got Fantanga moved up for me. You know, FPL is getting bad when I've got people in my chat telling me that my cat wants to be let in. Because <laughs> they can see him in the patio door. Um, my cat's name's Astro. That's his name. Um, McCarthy and Stevens name, double is embarrassing. What was it, Boona? Did you, name your, did you name your cat after your headphones? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's wrong with my headphones? No, I just thought you had a set of Astros for when you were gaming. No, this is a, no. These are Audio Technica eighty. I don't know what they're, they're they 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 don't do these anymore. These headphones. They actually stopped making them. They're ridiculously good. Um, uh, Pradlin chat says I had a Gallo when uh, then transferred in Abraham with a minus four hit. Ouch! Why did you do that? I Why? Bet you why? I got news that he, he is... Oh, no. Have you read this? 
Prada and chat. I had a Gallo. Then I transferred in Abraham for a minus four. And then I got news that he's injured. And then I got Vardy for a minus eight. And then I captained him. Wow. Who's his vice? Who's your, yeah, who's your vice, Prada? I mean, that's... Prolada. Um, does the cat... Does the if he says Ings and I'm just gonna be like, well, dude, just just give up. Um, FPL Chris Packet, Charlie, how you doing? Uh, Stevens, what's going on? Minus one. Um, well, it could be worse. He could get another yellow. Um, we've got. I have Stevens coming off the bench with a minus one. Says Lewis Kirkby. Yeah. Well, I mean, trans. I I think Agallo's got a great chance of starting. Um, so I, I would, I certainly wouldn't be taking him out if I had him in. I, I possibly wouldn't have had him in in the first place. Um, uh, but yeah, that's very unfortunate. Uh, Firmino is for vice captain. Well, it could all work out for you, Pradla. Uh, this, uh, I, 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 forgive me if I'm butchering your name. I, I think it's Pralada. Is that right? Um, uh, Charlie, um, how are you doing? Um, shocking game week for everyone. Uh, says Sultan Saeed, absolutely. Um, well, I haven't had anyone real play yet, so it's not been that shocking for me. Um, when do Chelsea, when do Chelsea play Bayern? Because they're winning like seven nil. Says Roman in chat. Um, hang on. Block FPL's PVA picks coming through. Yes, we looked at that earlier on, Sultan Saeed. Uh, when do Chelsea play Bayern for the next leg? It's not like the second week in March or something like that. I'll, yeah, I'll, so I'll we, find so out. A week on, a week on Wednesday. <clears throat> right. Leg two is on the 18th of March. So it's, uh, let's just confirm this. 18th of March. So it's Wednesday, two weeks, two weeks Wednesday. Two weeks Wednesday, 18th of March. Quite some time to go yet. Pope is on three bonus points, apparently. <laughs> oh, Lewis, don't don't get confident. Don't get confident. That could easily get wiped. Chelsea play Villa away the same week that they play Bayern. Ooh. That's game week. That's game week thirty. Travis Duncan says, "Let's see your bench." Uh, this isn't my team. If you're asking to see my team, I will. I'll put it up. This is my team at the moment. My team, as it stands: uh, Allison in goal, Williams, Alexander Arnold, Aurier, Pereira, who's played and got me two points, who I transferred in for a minus four. Yay, game week. Uh, then Donka. Uh, yes, you heard that right. Den Donker, uh, Salah, Traore, Fernandez, Captain, Jimenez, and Calvert Lewin on my bench. Aubameyang, Cathcart, and De Bruyne. So essentially, just Cathcart. Um, I'm really hoping that Traore doesn't get benched or Williams doesn't get benched because I think Cathcart could be um, bringing me in minus points. Um, but I am really considering that uh, Cathcart to James Reese James move. I think that could be a quite a, a quite a shrew move going forward with those fixtures um yeah three walls good luck bro oh thank you oh thank you thank you thank you uh, at least i'm playing a starting at least i'm going to hopefully touch wood hopefully play 11 players um and i think judging on what we've seen so far this game week i think if you get two three or more points uh then it's that's you've done you've done quite well um so if i can get two points from dendonka um from Traore, um you know, and Jimenez gets a goal or or assist. Uh, I'm not going to be too upset. Um, I am screwed. So MSK in chat. I am screwed if Salah hauls as the person in front of me and behind me have triple captain Salah. Wow, triple captain Salah this week. Um, I have Salah and Mane. Oh, you've you have Salah and Mane, and you've captain Mane. MSK. Um, I mean the triple captaincy chip. If if Salah does score one or two goals, it's not going to hurt you um, that much because you already own Salah. Um, but obviously you are captaining Mane. I I think that um, you should 
just keep positive. Keep keep positive. Uh, and when you decide to use your triple captain, uh, uh, unless you, of course, have used your triple captain, um, don't worry about your rivals just at this moment. You save your triple captain for a double game week uh, where you can um, take more advantage of it. Um, Joe Ward, Joel Ward is my hero so far, says Pavel in chat. Um, Charlie's saying he's going to get rid of Steven soon. Southampton are a shambles. Um, what is my rank? Um, my rank is uh, 263,376. Nothing to scream and shout about. But guys, I'm going to go and take a quick break. I'm going to get myself a cup of tea. Uh, it'll be five minutes. Uh, so, so enjoy the quick break, and I'll see you in five. See you in a bit. Can they still hear us chat when it's on a break? Yeah.
Hello, I'm back. Hello, guys. How you doing? Yep. Are we live? Are you all excited? We're live. Are you all excited for the second half of these games? Well, we are in the second half of these games. Oh, I'm bricking it because Giroud's just missing. Giroud's missing setters left, right, and center. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Drew's missing sitters. How many has he missed? Two. Two. Well, he's at, he, well, he had that one, that clear header, wasn't it? And Alonso just passed it to him in the middle of the goals. He had the whole goal to aim at and he hits it wide. God. He was literally like four yards out and he misses it. Wow. I can't believe it's still Newcastle nil Burnley now. That's going to probably finish like that. Yep, because then we'll get six points for Fernandez. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell Lama's on the on the beers. That that music was definitely from a 1993 motivational video. I was debating whether or not to put some music on as I went to boil the kettle to make myself a cup of tea, but. That uh, was the best I could find on YouTube, sorry. Um, that was royalty free, apparently. Um, hold on to that clean sheet, Newcastle. Praying emoji. Says it's Raw12G in chat. Uh, so another one that's after a Newcastle cleanie there, uh, Llama. What else are you guys saying in chat at the moment? So the only Fernandez getting any points this weekend, Jason. Say again. That might be the only Fernandez getting points this game. <laughs> no need to be like that, Llama. No need to be like that. <laughs> Do you own him? Not the Man United Fernandez, no. Any reason why? You don't you oh, don't touch Man United players with a barge pole. It's well, you know what it's like following Man United and how inconsistent they are. So it was kind of like, I'll give them a home and an away game and then think about it. But then when I look at United's fixtures, I definitely, I think, will get them in about, I think, game week 32, 33, something like that. Okay. Could be a bit too late by then. You could have missed out on a few hauls, but fair play. Go ahead and do it. Hello, AH in chat. Uh, Ings, time to go! Uh, exclamation mark. Um, do you think you'll we'll see um, an exodus of Ings owners um, as a result of this benching? Do you think we're going to see a price drop this evening? Yeah, I think a lot of the casuals will take him out. These <clears throat> pictures are so good. Interesting. Uh, see how many people. In fact, we could probably check out now how many people have transferred out Danny Ings. Let's quickly have a look. See when you say casuals, I just I just imagine like fantasy managers sitting there in Burberry tops and like kappa hats and stuff. <laughs> Actually, people have transferred, so there's not been an update. So it still says thirty thousand transfers in at the moment for for Danny Ings um, net transfers. So yeah, we'll wait and see on that one. Bournemouth have got a corner at the moment. Yeah, cleared off the line by Jack Stacey. Almost a goal. Oh, a Bamiyang could be rising very very soon. Very nice. Very nice. Of course, Kelly. Rico, Kelly's... Uh, they're, they're dropping like stones at the moment. People transferring them out. Let's have a look. Oh, is that is that three weeks? Kelly's played now. Oh, oh, equal. Lerma for Bournemouth has scored. Jefferson Lerma for Bournemouth has scored the equaliser. <laughs> Wiped out the clean sheet from Chelsea. Yeah, it's Jefferson Lerma. Although it's going to Vark. It's going to Vark. Come on. Davey, you could be oh, not again, way. not again for Bournemouth. Is VAR going to again ruin Bournemouth's week? 
I don't know if they can. Honestly, I think the fans are gonna be beside themselves if they disallow this goal. It's because it's because Pedro was brought down in the other penalty area. But is it a clear and obvious foul? Is it a clear and obvious error? Is it a foul? Can you see it? Uh, but there's hey, nothing, there's, nah, there's nothing in that. Like, yeah, it's a goal. It's a goal. It's gonna stand. It sounds like. It's like he's just breathed on Pedro and he's just fell down. Okay, cool. Um, so, wow, a Bournemouth goal. That's going to make the interest in then. I did call this game as a 1-1, I think. Just when you thought the game couldn't get any more excited. I know, it's sad that Bruno's disappeared. Well, it's great for United. If if Bournemouth can get a result against Chelsea, it's good news for us. Um, and who knows? Yeah. A sneaky winner would be perfect. I agree completely, Zimmy. Who's that making noises anyway? Yeah, hang on, let's have a let's bring up Discord. Somebody's. It sounds like someone's like um, playing with some paper or something. Is that you, Phil? No. I'm just actually watching the Southampton game. They've come out in second. Say again, Phil. I said Southampton have come out quite attacking the second half. In Although oh, West, West Ham! No way, they've scored another goal. It's West Ham three, Southampton one. Danny Ings is coming on. Oh, oh my life! So Hassan Hull said, if I need Ings, I will use him. He definitely needs Danny Ings now. They are now trailing West Ham three goals to one. Where's Where's Wizzy when we need him? He must be on cloud nine at the moment. By the way, Jason, Danny Ings has come on. Yeah, I've just seen that in chat. So Ings yeah. is now on. Please get a yellow card, Danny Ings. Antonio scored. I would love a Bertrand assist to Danny Ings' goal. That'd be nice. Uh, no, no. Oh, it's a possible goal for Bournemouth! A possible goal for Bournemouth! To one Bournemouth, yeah. Yes! Come on, Bournemouth! Yep, yeah, 2 1. Fine, I'm, honestly, they need this. They need this result, Bournemouth. Who's got it? Who's got it? Who's got it? It's a gone to VAR Gosh, okay. for offside. Oh, could it, could it? Right, okay, so it's, the goal has gone to VAR. Oh, it's... If not, it'll be Josh King's goal. Okay, hang on. It's been given as a goal. Yeah. It's been, it's been verified as a goal by VAR. It's confirmed. Josh King. Good goal as well. Wow. Lovely football from Bournemouth. Oh, hang on, hang on. The referee's still got the match ball in his hand. The referee has still got the match ball in his hand. He's still got his fingers to his ear. Is there still checking? The radio is telling me that now. It's come up on Sky Sports as a goal. It counts. It counts. There we go. There we go. What yeah, a Ryan goal. Was, I don't know. Is it Cal Nelson or Ryan Fraser with the assist? I, I don't know which one of them touched it last. Um, I didn't hear who got the assist on that one. I don't know if the chat Ryan can help. Fraser was the, Ryan Fraser crossed it in, but it looks like uh, Cal Wilson slid in and it touched off his toe. Guys, everyone jump on Bournemouth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jack Ings is his arm. I, I, I certainly hope he doesn't do anything. Uh, Reese James, gone from a hero to zero. I'm, I'm glad I didn't do that transfer. No, I'm only joking, definitely, of course. Yeah, definitely not a fight. Um, Reese James apparently bullied um, there in, involving that goal. Jack Stacy with the assist. Um, nah, Reese James was nowhere near that. It came down the other side of the pitch. Oh, okay. It was Christensen and it was a long go high up the pitch, not tracking back. He got caught out of possession. Were Chelsea resting on their laurels a little bit, going uh, ahead earlier in the game, and now, of course, um, two two goals for Bournemouth. Um, let's just. I mean, are you seeing much of that game at all? Are you watching that game? I'm watching it, yeah, but... A Bournemouth deserving of the lead? 
Yeah, they've been playing well second half. Alonso cannot defend. He's just basically because it's two quick goals, goals, isn't it? Because it's like because Alonso cannot defend. Like, I don't know. Like he's brilliant attacking wise, but like he gets caught in possession so much that he just leaves Chelsea vulnerable in defence. So, so to answer my question, were, were Chelsea kind of sitting at a lead at half time, one nil? Did they, do you think that they kind of were happy to just play the game out at half time and two quick no, goals they, from Bur- Bournemouth? No, and... no, definitely not. They came out trying to get that second yeah. goal, quick second goal, and then they got they got caught twice. Fair play. Please get a goal, uh, Burnley, and uh, or oh, Newcastle. Actually, I would like Newcastle to score because a lot more people have Pope in goal than than um, people having. Uh, Newcastle defenders. Interesting. Interesting game week so far, isn't it? It's been very um, anti-fantasy. Hey, fan- hello, fantasy football focus. How are you today? Um, yeah, it's Watford, Liverpool this evening. Liverpool team news in the next 15 minutes, or just under 15 minutes. We'll find out if there's been any more disappointment or shock in this game week. Pope with the save points. Would love a Newcastle goal, Boone is saying in chat. The buying game has been called off. Crowd issues? Really? If Salah's benched, there's going to be scenes, I'm telling you now. But I'd, I would laugh my head off. I would laugh my head off. Yeah, my mates just text me that Bayern is kind of 6-0 up and then it's just been kind of put to one side. Because Say again. Bayern will what? Like a good bit of head in that game, and then it's been stopped because of protests. Bayern Munich were six nil up, and yeah. in the, so it's saying on it's saying at the moment the game when it's the eighty eighth minute. Um, okay, hang on, let me have a go on their Twitter. It's yeah, in Bolton it's... due to spectator riots. What I'm looking. What? At. Yeah, Bolton. Oppenheim fans have just started like rioting and protesting it when Bayern were six 0 up. And what they've got to call the game off? Well, it's kind of stopped. Well, it's yet. stopped in the 88th minute. Well, they have to play the minutes. Otherwise, if the referee calls the match off, um. I don't know what the rules are. I don't know what the rules are in the Bundesliga. If the referee calls the match off due to stadium unrest by by Hoffenheim fans, whether or not the win, I think it's a three nil win to Bayern Munich. Um, My mates just said that I the think, game's not stopped, as in it's not been abandoned yet. But they're trying to wait and see if it, like all the protests stop. But seemingly there's some crazy banners going up about their owners or something. Oh right, okay. Okay, drama in the Bundesliga, guys. You you are tuning into Elite FPL, don't worry. And this is a good moment to just remind everybody. Thank you for tuning in. If you've enjoyed it, please hit the like button. It really helps um, get the show put up high on the rankings on YouTube. Um, and subscribe if you're new here. Hit the uh, notification bell for alerts when we go live. Um, I will possibly be covering the bits or majority of the Liverpool game as well. So I'll be still uh, here for quite some time. So... Feel free to support the stream by hitting that like button. William and, and Barkley are coming on for Chelsea. William and William and Barkley coming on. Okay, so positive. I was I was looking for something. This is what oh yeah, live bonus points. That's what I wanted to find out. I wanted to know what the bonus points are at the moment. This is the ti- this is the time in the games where I start to look them up. Oh my god, Chelsea are all over the place. Really? Like Bournemouth just pressed the left pressed Alonso and, and Tomori and Kovacic at left back, uh, Chelsea left back three Bournemouth players and they, they just quacked the ball out for like a throw in. The thing is, the thing is with Bournemouth, right? Now this is my opinion on Bournemouth. It'd be interesting to see how many of you guys in chat agree with me or with you know you guys in Discord as well. 
I don't think Bournemouth got like rubbish overnight. I think this is purely down to confidence, a confidence issue in Bournemouth. Could this be a win that could spur them on to have a strong end to the season? I doubt it. They just they like Bournemouth like playing Chelsea. That um, that Liverpool guy is just and Bournemouth almost scored what again. The team is against Watford, by the way. Callum Wilson almost just scored uh, like two yards out, hits it straight at the goalkeeper. Antonio just come close for West Ham. Right, so bonus points as it stands. Uh, obviously, in the early game, we know about those. But uh, at the moment, uh, Antonio's on bonus three for West Ham. Fornals, Halle and Bowen all on bonus two currently. Uh, we've got Newcastle, Burnley, Pope on bonus three at the moment. Please, Newcastle. Please, Newcastle. Score and get rid of that. Come on, Burnley. Uh, Tarkowski on bonus two. Me, Taylor, Fernandez, and Dubravka on bonus one at the moment. All sharing a bonus point. Uh, Bournemouth versus Chelsea. King, Josh King on bonus three. Uh, obviously, could be even more cemented with the winning goal if that is the case. We've got Lerma and Alonso on bonus two in that game. So at the moment, um, it's the Burnley assets in defence that are, are winning out. For anyone interested, it's Tamori off and Jorginho off. 63 Liverpool minutes start, Liverpool starting 11's being leaked as well. Morning, Jordi Kev. How are you doing? Lewis Kirkby in chat saying Bournemouth will stay up. They are a good team. Oof. Yeah, I reckon Bournemouth will stay up. Chelsea are trash, says Nick Patel in chat. Nah, we just can't play Bournemouth. We always get beat by them. Have you seen that Jason Liverpool team? Uh, no. Yeah, they've um, them two elite Liverpool team like really early have done it again. Oh, hang on, is it Mr. Rockstar again? No, it's them. Um, is it the copy? It's Q. Oh, hang on then. Let's have a quick look. Well, by the sound of your voice, it doesn't sound like there's any surprises. I don't know, like it's Paulie. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Go on, break it to me. Go on, break it to me. What's going? Go on. No, it just Alison, Trent, Gomez, Van Dijk, Robertson, Fabinho, Wijnaldum, Oxlade, Chamberlain, Salah, Firmino, Mane. All right, so nothing there then. No. Wonder well done. So, no surprises there, no one benched. Everyone can wow, come. That should be your team name next year. Everyone can calm down. Crosswell just took one of the team, just been booked. Say again? Uh, I'm not sure it was a Southampton winger, was away down the side, and Crosswell. Basically, oh, really? to the ground to take the card. Tactical foul. Uh, Giroud with another chance, almost scored as well. Reese James, nice wee cross, didn't he? I mean, he hits it just, heads it just wide. Let's get Booner's team. Inside the box. Let's get Booner's team up. Let's, let's, let's look at a team that's got some points on the board, shall we? 25 points. Dubravka in goal. God. Alonso, Dubravka, Giroud. He's got Taylor on the bench. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, what are you guys saying in chat at the moment? How does he know the Liverpool team news? There are certain people in the know on Twitter that leak uh, early team news about five to ten minutes before the official team news is uh, announced. Not that early team news matters after the deadline. Hang on, what's this about? The players are coming back out. Bayern leads six 0 with thirty minutes to go. What do you mean six 0 lead wiped off? No, it won't be wiped off. No, nah, yeah, Josh. Back, Josh, like Josh King's just come off for Bournemouth for Stanislas. He's not looking happy. Really. Yeah, Josh King just been taken off. Really upset. Formation really change? Upset. Must be a formation looks, change. Looks really upset and Junior Stanislas has come on. That's not a good sign. 
So does that mean you'll just sit on it now then, David? What's my live rank at the moment? I'll let you know what my I live rank know, is. I don't know, like, like, Eddie Howe's having to console Joss King on the sidelines for like five minutes while Junior Stanislas came on. <laughs> My, my life rank has dropped, but I've only had one player play, and so it's, it's, I fully expect that. 309,000 at the moment. Um, did Ings get subbed on? Yes, he did, Godwin. Need Pope to concede to make my guy to 11 points return even better so far. Only good. Um, my, the only good uh, return in my for my minus four. Um, FPL Anderson, I certainly would like that Pope clean sheet to be knocked off. Uh, that would be great. Oh, please no. Stop jinx. No, please no. I want Ivar on the clean sheet. It's going to happen. Almer on scoring. Come on. No, otherwise Buna is basically... Buna will be like 50 points in front. Can we all collectively pray to the FPL gods that uh, Newcastle get a goal? <laughs> no. <laughs> We've got, still got 20 minutes yet. We've still got 20 minutes. Um, calling back 50 points for like nine game weeks. It goes. Oh, Phil uh, Anderson is asking Phil, how is Ings doing? Quiet, real quiet at the moment. It's all West Ham. A LaSalle's goal would be perfect, says it's raw and chat. Uh, can we pray it's Saint Maxim Min who scores off us off the subs bench? I mean, yes, of course he. Is he come on? Uh, how about no? Is he no? Has he come on? Uh, I I don't think he's on. Is he? No. Guru offside. No, he hasn't come on yet. Uh, no, God. No, cha no change information for Bournemouth. No. no. All the same information. AH in chat saying horrific game week. Yeah, but the big guns are yet to play. Um, LaSalle's goal and assisting himself would be class. <laughs> Dream on. I took a minus eight on eight points with a couple of to, uh, with a couple to go. Really, I'm guessing that's your um, Liverpool players then. Oh, Callum Wilson. Is that going to be a red card for Christensen? Really? No, yellow, but like, get it cynical. Callum Wilson just like flicks it past them, spins past them, and then Christensen just hauls them to the ground. Wow. Free kick in a dangerous uh, position? No, it was just after the halfway line. Oh, really? Wilson would have been clean through, Wilson would have been clean through <laughs> on goal. What could still be a check, couldn't it, for red card? But then it would it be a clear it would it be a clear and obvious? He doesn't get anything in the ball; just deliberately takes him out. Doesn't even go for the ball. So you're saying he would have been through on goal? Yeah, but he's, the referee's just given him a yellow. Right. Okay. And then Giroud's just come off for a batch wide. Hmm. Yeah, I think the, the the red card thing can only be a dangerous. Um, a, a, an offence, a, da a dangerous foul play. You can't, I don't think nah, it can. It's just, it's just a really cynical challenge. Mm. Like, I, I mean, if it was a, hang on. Yeah, because it was. The, I'm just thinking back to the um, the VAR decision um, in the United game, De denying a clear and obvious goal scoring opportunity by using his own hand. The VAR looked to see if it was a red cardable offence but they, they deemed it was but the red card had already been given anyway by that point what's this a goal Chelsea disallowed talk to me offside yeah, Batsu yeah but offside so how many of you took hits this week I know the Boona didn't I took a minus four. And what are you on now, Davey? Uh, I am on 18 points. Who did you bring in for that minus four? I, I did Grealish out and Barnes in to guarantee myself 11 starting players. 
And how how many points is Barnes on at the moment? Well, Barnes is two. Mm. Well, um, bring him up to minus one now, Jay. Was it worth it? That's the question. A button to Patricio. Um, I can't mind the second one actually. The team news is officially out now. Um, we'll bring it up. So the team news for Liverpool, we've got starting in goal, Allison. We just oh, hang on, no. So starting in goal, we have what's going on here? Why has this happened? Allison in goal, Alexander Arnold, Lovren, Van Dyke, Robertson for. Hang on. Interesting. Apparently, go, Mendy. Yeah. That's interesting. I was looking. I was just thinking, Gomez. Wow, right. Gomez. Yeah. I was. I thought. Am I reading this? I, I was looking at that. I was thinking, what, Lovren? I was panicking. I was thinking, what's going on here? Um. So again, starting from the beginning. So it like Gomez been injured in warm up. So Lovren steps in. Alexander Arnold, Lovren, Van Dyke, Robertson, Fabino, Ronaldo. Oxlade Cham Chamberlain, uh, Mane, Salah, Firmino. Um, on the bench, you've got Minamino, Adrian, Lalana, Arigi, Matip, Jones, and Huerva. And for Watford, we have got Foster in goal with Messina, Cathcart, Cabaselli, Firmino, um, Hughes, Capoue. Delefeo, Decore, Saar, and up front Dini. A pretty corner, standard. Corner of Chelsea. Cor corner for Chelsea, okay. Yeah, Barkley just hit a shot on the edge of the box. It bounced off Ake's back, who blocked it out for a corner. Do you think. Do you think. Um, can you see Watford scoring? With Wolverine, yes. Yeah, it'll be Decore that will score. Nah, Lama, you've got no luck in FPL on the season. No, I don't have. I haven't had Gomez for quite some time now. I hear. So I'll start a good player to have back. Yeah, back for Watford. Yeah, of course. Alonso just hit a shot from 40 yards that went miles wide and all the Chelsea Chelsea players started moaning at him. But it's a corner of Chelsea. Mm. There's an interesting stat. Newcastle haven't lost a home game against Burnley since 1976. Newcastle haven't lost a home game against Burnley since 1976. Yeah. Winning three and drawing three. Wow. Wow. So they've played oh, six times. They've only played six times since 1976. Is that what you're saying? Well, I don't know. It was BT that's saying it. Okay. It's jinx now anyway, though, isn't it? It's jinx now. You've said it, mate. Yeah. As long as Fernandez gets subbed off now. My live rank has dropped to 317,000. You're getting closer to me now. <laughs> uh, Godwin is a Gomez over owner. That's really unfortunate if that's a if that's the case. Um, good Watford fixtures. They are decent. I mean, Sar could be an option for people looking for a, a cheapy in midfield. Barsley with the other card. That's that Bayern Munich game finished now. Six nothing. Oh really?
Sounds like that was an interesting game then. Six goals and a postpone and, a, and a, a, a match like pause for twenty minutes. <laughs> I tell you what, I love these James. Like the way he plays and like the way he shouts and communicates, he's just like urging Chelsea to move high up the pitch as well. Like who? Reese James he's having a go at other Chelsea players saying why aren't you showing any attacking threat why, why is there no movement because he wants to try and create and cross and stuff uh, Anish in chat saying will you be covering the pool game or is there going to be a Llama lounge uh, Llama were you getting in touch with me earlier on because you wanted to know that question no I was just wondering mate that's all it was Just to, and then you had said that you were covering that so that all is good <laughs> I'm driving. I'm driving a long distance tomorrow, so there won't be anyone uh, covering tomorrow's uh, Spurs game. I don't think, unless Stevo or, or the Everton Man United game, because I know Stevo. I don't know what Stevo's doing tomorrow. Um, what you want me to see if I can get? Well, it's up to you. Maybe the Llama Lounge could open up. I don't know. Yeah, I hear I hear the bouncers a bit like, tricky these days to get into the lounge. <laughs> the bouncer. Yeah, they are. Yeah. I'll speak to the management and see if I can get <laughs> in tomorrow. I.e. Margaret. So so Gomez isn't even in the squad. So he must have just he must have really um pulled up in in in, in like warm up then. They're sounding quite bad. Let's quickly have a look at the dream team. Apparently it's a shambles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's the dream team yeah. at the moment. Chelsea had a penalty shout claim when um looks like Junior Stanislas <laughs> Slid and then deliberately hit the ball out with his hand for a corner. Is it going to VAR? Nope, nothing given. <sighs> they just showed it on the replay a minute ago. Just listening into these games, there's literally nothing seems to be going on at the moment. Um, where are these late goals that we were hoping for? I don't know. I don't know about you guys, where you are at the moment, but the wind is absolutely blowing at the moment outside. It's snowing where I am. It's, it's sunny outside, but the wind is is relentless. Hey, Jason, that's that Maximus guy on for Newcastle now. He's come on, is he? Yeah. And Richie's just had a, a shot at goal that's just whistled past the post. Another brilliant save by Bournemouth keeper to deny Mitri Batshuayi from close range. That would have been another Alonso assist. Sunny in paradise says fire tugging in yeah, chat. Honestly, you should see some of the the flooding that's um, the flooding around here is, is is ridiculous. I've never seen it as bad. Um, what is it bad where you are? Not far from where I am. Yeah, it's it's just caused traffic. Traffic's the issue. Like I was um, I was supposed to be going live today at quarter to three. But I um, got held up in traffic. That's why I had to literally go in. I was 10 minutes. I got in the house at 10 2, I think. I just got in in time. Uh, Stevie Goddard in chat. Jason, here we go. We're talking about non FPL stuff because literally nothing's happening in these games. 
Have we seen all the goals? Um, so Stevie Goddard says, I've just got in from a 10 mile bike ride and I feel 15 years older. Fair play, Stevie. Is that a road bike or a mountain bike? Is it, is it, was it a flat ride or I, I've got, I need to go out on my bike to be fair. I can't at the moment unless I take my flippers. You need armbands as well, you know? Yeah, of course. Oh, the race course, the local race course to where I live is, is fully underwater. I think it's under about two meters of water at the moment because it's right on the River Severn. And if anyone's been watching the news, the River Severn is in a pretty sorry state of affairs at the moment. Yeah, some of it I've seen just as really badly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, possible goal for Chelsea. Hang on. Possible goal for Chelsea. Stand by yeah, it looks like 2-2. Two, two. Yep. It's Alonso. No. Alonso. No way is it Alonso. <laughs> yeah. Boone is going to... Wait for it. Wait for it. Boone is going to come in here and he's going to scream. Oh, that's for sure. Yeah, Alonso. Alonso. Who's got the assist? I think Reese James. Reese James with the assist? Looks like it, yeah. Wow. Not gone to... Yeah, confirmed. Wow. Where? Alonso Hall. God, it reminds me of years gone by. Well, there he is, is. That, is that serious? Yep, that's serious, mate. It counts. It counts, yeah. dude, yeah. How on earth? Bloody hell. Boona, I mean, glad, but Boona. Boona. Come on. This nah, is, I can't even be honest. This game is weird, man. Continues. Come on, mate. Let it out. You know you want to. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's playing it down. Okay, hold on. Pedro assist. Bloody wow. You can't make this shit. Uh, you can't make this rubbish up. I shouldn't have told you. About, I shouldn't have told you about his record against Bournemouth. What was so Blimey. bad about that? Was it a nostalgia pick? That's a good question. Was this a, a you know, obviously you had the option of Reese no, James. No, it was, um... What made you go a, with Alonso? I think it was his recent goal and his um, decent fixture. I didn't, I wasn't aware of his superior record. Davey told me in, this morning about that. Blimey. Wait, you're telling me that Davey recommended Alonso to you? No, 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 no. Davey told me about Alonso's record, like, good record against Bournemouth this morning. Oh, Davey, why did you do that? <laughs> I mean, it made no difference. The free hit was played last what? night anyway. Yeah, yeah well... Um, what is yeah, the, yeah what true. Is the lamb lounge done to the It's made us soft, is not well, it? Well, I need to... Let's, let's, um, let's just bring up Boona's team because... He'll be on fair points now. He's going to be on serious points now. That'll take me to... Double the 31, 33 points post-bonus. Calm yourself down, mate. That would take me to about 40, 50k overall as well. Get it in. Wow. It's looking from like... One player. From one well, player. I mean, Ings not doing anything is frustrating, but Alonso's really kind of made up for it, to be fair. Blimey. Well, we've, I'm going to go back to listening to this Yeah, No worries, mate. No worries, dude. <clears throat> Lewis Kirkby's in, in chat saying, uh, it was a Pedro assist. Was that okay, Dread FPL? Thank you for that. Boona, Boona uh, Lewis Kirkby in chat is saying, you need to thank everyone from last night. You were going to bench Alonso for Shah. Really? Oh, the truth comes out. The truth comes out. Is that true, Boona? Um, triple, triple, TAA captain to save the game week, Anish in chat says. Well, he's been pretty consistent. Um, GG uh, says Luke Jones to Boona in chat. Whose team is that? This uh, this is Booner, FPL Booners. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. Sun is definitely Alonso. shining on Booner at the moment. Alonso on his own has got more points than five of my players combined. Alonso's got more points than my entire team. <laughs> I think people will need Jerk Alonso in on mass, to be honest with you. He's, you, really, he's six million as well. 
I don't think. Yeah, I don't think you're going to see a mass knee jerk for Alonso anytime soon. All right, come on, that's the final minutes now. If Newcastle score, that means Bruno will go sixty points in front of me. Yeah, they've just said that Newcastle are kicking in at minute. Oh, come on, Newcastle, please. Wipe that Pope clean sheet and bonuses, please. Apparently, apparently Almiron was close. And Chelsea have almost scored again. That's why. Almost. Ramsdale saved them there. Apparently an eye injury for Ramsdale, says Firetog in chat. No, it looks like, the, like, the, like, the, like when he dove down, like the dart got kicked off off of dart hit him in the eye from the the boot of Batch Y. Like it hit up off the ground. Oh, okay. Was Bowen involved in the, any of the other goals then? For West Ham. Yeah, I know. He, I know he scored. I know he scored the first one. But was he involved in any of the other goals? Like, no. When I when I say involved, I mean was he involved in the attacking play? Like was he the the assist of the assister, so to speak? Bowen now known as look what what you could have won. No one was going to think about bringing Bowen in. To be honest, the um, yeah. Pope clean sheet will save my game week. Uh, says Prolada. Pablo Fornals. Yeah, Fornals looking pretty um, decent at the moment. It's a bit early days to jump on West Ham though, isn't it? Oh, they've got horrendous fixtures. They play Arsenal next week. How are they in this? And Alonso's clean through again. For Chelsea, no. And Bournemouth won the ball back. <laughs> he was literally like one tackle away from being queen two. Uh, I've got a question. Um, as as a non-gambler myself, one of you guys might be able to answer in in chat. Um, or you guys can hear um, the question from Jordy Kev. What happens in an accumulator when a game in your list is called off? Do they just adjust the odds later? Uh, AC Man game must have been called off for the virus, I'm assuming. How does uh, it work? I think, yeah. give, I think they just give you your money back, do they not? No, they should, it, they should adjust the odds and then you'll get, like, if it's a five accumulator, it'll go down to a four. Yeah, yeah. They just, they just play that game out and then adjust your odds accordingly. Right, okay. My game week, my game week rests on Burnley Newcastle staying nil nil. I have Pope and Lascelles. I'm in the same boat as that person. Oh, liminal! It's going to be nil nil, isn't it? Oh, please, please, please be nil. It is going to be nil nil. Keep saying that, Jason. Oh. We obviously didn't pray enough to the FPL gods. Almiron should have scored. He just bottled it. <laughs> 90, 93rd minute. He just bottled it. Yeah, he let balls run across him and then he just ended up getting shot blocked. So many people in chat saying they've got a blooming Burnley Newcastle defender. God, that's so frustrating. Ben Mee's just been carded for Burnley. People don't have Ben Mee, they have Pope, don't they? they have, some people have Charlie Taylor, like Buna. Mm. 
who I think is on for bonus. Uh, yeah, bonuses. Let's quickly go through them again. They're probably not going to change that much now because we're almost at the dying embers. Well, yeah, we are. And the late, the final moments of the games. Antonio's, Antonio's going to be on bonus three for West Ham. Haller, bonus two. Bo, Bowen on bonus one. Gaeta, uh, obviously earlier on in the game, got the bonus three. Um, Newcastle, um, Burnley, we've got Pope on bonus three. He's going to be... Oh, he's gone 10 points. That's crazy. Pope's on 10 points. Um, Tarkowski on two points with Fernandez on two points. Uh, Bournemouth, Chelsea, Alonso, three points. Um, Josh King, two points. Stacey and Lerma are both on bonus one. Oh. Hang on. Oh, it's been in Luton Town. I don't want to know about Luton Town. From Buna, though, he's got an accumulator on them. What, on Luton Town? I think so, yeah. Barnsley will be bottom now. I think he's got Luton to not Hang on. on his accumulator. Oh. It's full time. Well, Luton won, Stoke City won. Wait, is it full time at Burnley Newcastle? Uh, uh, yeah, it's finished 0 0 at Newcastle. Oh, yeah. God! <laughs> yes, then. <laughs> I'll take my Fernando's bonus points. I'll take my Nick Pope bonus points. <laughs> oh, God. Full time at Bournemouth as well. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> full time at West Ham. So well. many people have benefited from that nil nil. It's unbelievable. That's going to be throwing up the uh, live average, I'm sure. So the I'm average. My green arrow and run. Average now in the top 10K is standing at 11.68 points. Average overall, once you factor in hits, is 8.27. I'm on minus two. With only one player played. Ings, of course, one point. St. Maximin, one point. What did Stevens end up with in the end? One point. No, no, no points. No, no zero. Points. Yeah, you got zero. What's the ownership on Pope? Do I even want to look at that? Uh, 17.3%. Oh, it's, not too, it's not too bad then. How many in the top 10K own him? You probably don't know that number, do you? Or in the top, yeah, it's probably going to be a fair amount. Rip, Rip Ings. Um, just going to turn... <sighs> 34 from 7, any good? Shut up, Boona. <laughs> wow. Pope effective points against us, 3.86. 38% effective ownership for Pope in the top 10k. <sighs> wow. Okay. That's a decent chunk. So bad, I have yeah, I'm sure you are. I need Allison to get a penalty save against Troy Deeney now. That is possible. I, I would be literally like, I'll be in cloud nine. How is Andy from Let's Talk FPL doing this week? Um, we can have a look because he's in the Champions League. Where is he? He's been doing all right of late, isn't he, old Andy? Um... Oh man, let's see if Manny holds for Buna. He's gonna he could end up being in the top five in the cash week. It's on fourteen. Say so again. I think if Manny holds for Buna, he could end up being really high in the cash week. Oh. Just don't, because you know who's got Mane's captain as well. So uh, Andy's got um, Alexander Arnold, Salah, Firmino, Fernandez, Jimenez, and Bolly to play, and he's on fourteen points, and he didn't take a hit. He made one transfer. He brought in Barnes in for Maris. Harvey Barnes. Trust him. 
Right. What a shocking week, says uh, FPL Chris Packet, also known as Charlie. Charlie, uh, it's been a shocking week for a lot of people. People that don't own Pope in the cells are going to be seeing point scores 10 or less, let's be honest with you. Um, it's not that great with that bench. I mean, it's still, not, still, still don't know what's going to happen um, with the Liverpool game, really. It's, it's all going to rest on the Liverpool game, guys. I said it at the beginning of the stream. Um, I think the Liverpool game is going to be decisive in how people's game weeks go. Um, and if people have been brave enough to captain um, differentials um, or if Salah hauls, then it's just like, well, it's the status quo because he's the most captain player. If Mane hauls, the people who captained him are going to see massive red arrow, uh, massive green arrows. Um but if Salah hauls, you're not going to see it as big as a, of a green arrow, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. Is there a stream for the Liverpool game? I was thinking about doing it. Yeah, I was thinking about staying on to do uh, at least... Um, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a break now, I think. Um, just, just, um, just so I can get myself another drink and see the family. It is, yeah. You feel free to t take um, take on take it into the llama lounge, mate, if you'd like. I, I could just because nah, <laughs> I well, I'm, what I'm saying is I can take a break now, so maybe you could kind of take the reins if you wanted to. Uh, I'll need to go up the stair into the llama lounge first. <laughs> no worries. <sighs> Let's so, see what people are talking about in Discord. It's, ba it's basically just been reaction to Gomez being benched. People, unfortunately, um, gone with Gomez for Liverpool as a cheaper option in defence. That's very unlucky. Um, oh, it's probably a good time to plug our Discord as well. The link is in chat, guys. It, it comes up every now and again. We've got Discord free for everybody, uh, all community members. Come and join. Um, you get to come on air. Talk to me, Steve-O, and other, and other uh, hosts, like Llama, who does the Llama Lounge, and Dan, uh, when he comes on as guest host. We've got um, people in chat talking about... Hello there to, to Harbour Boy. How are you doing? Hello, Harbour Boy. Good luck, everybody, for later on. Are you shooting off now? No worries, Donodos. You take it easy, dude. Alex Koo, welcome, welcome. Um, need Mane to outperform better. Need to, Mane to perform better than Salah, said Godwin. Um, you're in that boat as well, are you? I can't, couldn't disagree anymore. Um, Bill Al's not happy with this game week. Uh, right. So I think what we'll do in a moment, guys, is we'll just I'll take a I'll take a little bit of a break um, before the before the game kicks off. I'm gonna go and get a drink, something to eat. Uh, Lama will hopefully be free shortly to kind of just chill in the lounge in the Lama lounge and have a, a bit of a chat going on. So you guys will have something to listen to while we wait for the kickoff. And um, yeah, um, feel free to to speak in and ask me a few questions or vent your frustrations in the live chat. Hello, Steiny, how you doing? Hello, Jason. I've got three players out. Uh, I've got a score of twenty out of three players. Let me guess, Nick Pope, one of them. Um, only seven points from four. Oh my God, what a contrast! So, so Stein's got three players played. Oh, hang on, I've got three players out. Right, okay, maybe I misread that. So Stein, what? how many players you've had pl play for that 20 points? Uh, Harbourpoy says only seven points from four. Um, Godwin says I've taken a hit all season now. I've done it back-to-back -back game weeks. Uh, get the washing in before it rains. That isn't washing. That is an umbrella that you see blowing, up, blowing around in the background. So it's ideal. Um, it's been out there for about a year. Um Robo goal would be ideal. 14 from 5 plus Vardy, says Bill Allen chat. 
19 from 4, a man, Dylan. 10 for 3, Alex Koo says. Firmino, blank, and I will be all right, says Chelsea Flyer. <laughs> Interesting. Lama, you um, you good to go, dude? Yeah, it goes two minutes. I will go up and spark everything together um, and just keep your toes crossed that the PC holds up. No worries, mate. Cool. All right, Dave. Catch you in a bit. Okay, mate. Uh, if you, Firmino gets a hat trick, um, fantasy football focus. I mean, that's that's going to be a massive, massive rank jump for you. Um, take it easy, Denoda. Speak to you later. Hello, Reese. Uh, Reese Smith in chat. Um, Fifteen from five. Any good? Um, better than better than me. Better than some. I would say that the average is average. Uh, going on the. Um, let me just refresh the live average at the moment. So you're looking at uh, the, the game week. Yeah, so basically the game week average uh, at the moment is 11.66 points in the top 10K, 8.24 um, in the overall. So yeah, it's okay at the moment, I suppose. You're going to want to have... From five players, no, it's not good. From five players, mate. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try and tart that up and gloss it up any any more than than needed. Really, it's not not a great score, Reese. Unfortunately, but the good news is a lot of people are having a bad game week. Uh, look at the Champions League Group A leaders team, Elite FPL Champions League, of course. Group A, right, Group A leaders team for the Champions League. Let's have a quick look. I don't know who I'm playing in the, in the Champions League, actually. I need to get that up. I don't want to know about the people that had Pope in their teams. I'm very much aware that he's got bonus. He's going to be getting a 10-point haul. Uh, group standings. Group A... Group A, Emmanuel Esther. Okay. Emmanuel Esther. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's. I mean, it, to be fair, it's just unfortunate. In fact, that is really unfortunate. Um, how do I get this up? Uh, one second. So he's in. He's twenty second in Elite Champions League. Let's just bring that up for you guys to have a look at. So he's currently twenty second in there. Oh, wrong one. There he is. So he's top of Group A at the moment in the Champions League. Globalization. Emmanuel Asser. Uh, Shamichael Kelly, who didn't play. Um, Madison. Marshall, who isn't going to play. Vardy, who didn't play, is his captain. He's got val vice captain on Salah, so it could. Back in, well, it could it could help him. Um, Calvert Lewin and Ings have got one point, so five points at the moment from three three players that have played. Um, with one, two, so he's going to be fielding what nine players? He's going to be fielding nine players, and he's got. Oh no, he's got Gomez! Oh my god, I just noticed he's got Gomez in his team. Wow. Wow, that's really... That is... Th this right here is just so unlucky. 
so he's going to be fielding eight, eight players. Wow. Emmanuel, if you're watching the stream, my friend, that's just real. you got to laugh. you just got to laugh at that. You, you know, you took a minus four. Who did you do for minus four? Please tell me you didn't bring Vardy in. Oh, my life. You watch. Greenwood's going to score two goals away at Everton now, just to rub it in. So you brought, you brought Madison in for Mares. You brought Vardy in for Greenwood. I, I mean, to be fair, they're, they're logical moves. I mean, none of us in chat, none of you guys would be mocking him for those moves whatsoever. Just really, really unlucky. Really unlucky. Wow. Oh dear. Um, Lewis Kirkby, surely everyone knew about the Vardy news though. Not that unlucky. Um, no, not everybody because not everybody um, not everybody checks Twitter for early team news and not everybody's in Discord to, or on other fantasy sites to, to see what the, the community are talking about in terms of the pre-deadline, um, you know, early team news and there were people that fully expected Vardy to, to play and um, I no I don't see any any I don't see any mistake there in those transfers good evening Jason good evening people how are we this evening oh here he is Look, here he is the sultry voice of Llama went for your mobile phone to your um your very nice um, microphone, cardioid microphone, very good. This is my stewardess impression on the plane. It's like, it's like the, the voice of the FPL gods are talking to me at the moment. Tell me, um, FPL gods, why did Ings start? Well, th well, we we know, don't we? He had a he had a slight niggle, and he he had a, a light training session, and Hassel Hassan who all came and actually said in his notes that he was not going to play him unless absolutely necessary. Um, Llama, um, I'm going to go and take a, a bit of a break. Are you? Um, have you got any of your crew ready to, to come on to, uh, to no, do? No, I am, I am Billy No Mates at the moment. Yeah. Um, where, are we, where are we all heading? Are we going into on air? Yeah, do that. Right. Okay. I think the niche is there straight away. Okay. Um Cool. Do you wanna do you wanna shall I just end the stream now and then you start a stream up in a minute? What, under the Llama Lounge banner? Yeah, yeah, maybe that might be better because my wife's just come back and um I don't know how long I'm gonna need. But I'll I'll be but I'll be back. Or do you yeah, uh, well you'll... I don't. I don't You'll mind. You'll need to end it. Well, I, I. I tell you what. If it, if it's easier for you, we'll just we'll just keep it going like the way it's going because I can bring up all the all the graphics on here. But um, just drag people in as as per normal on the Llama Lounge. Treat it the same way as the Llama Lounge. The same format. Um, but I'll just flip and I'll flip back um in about um twenty minutes when when the game kicks off. Okay. Yeah, of course it is, of course it is. Brilliant. Okay, so I'll see you shortly. Yes, you shall. Good evening, people. Hope you've enjoyed Hello. Jason's streaming this afternoon. Um, all the exciting three o'clock games and points-wise... You're doing well if you're getting above 10 by the looks of it. Already in the Lama Lounge. Oh, we're getting a mountain lot trying to get in. Davy P's already in. Anish, I heard you. How are you this afternoon? You doing all right, bud? I'm all well, thank you. How are you guys? Yeah, doing all right. I've managed to get into positive points this afternoon eventually after taking my minus four. Davy, how are you? Harbour Boy, how are you? You all right? Yeah. Very good, thank you. All good. Still raging at Gunnar's jammy work, man. Like everything he does just oh comes off. This is me off. 
he he would be the guy that would find the golden ticket if he was in a Willy Wonka film. No, but he doesn't even mean it. It's by pure accident. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You've got to give the guy some credit, Davey. Pure accident. However, boy, how are you getting on this game week? Uh, I mean, it's, game week is yet to start for me, I think. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. No uh, 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 how many have you had out, though? I've had four out, and they've brought me a whopping seven points. I'm the exact same as you. I'm on 11 points, but I took a minus four. So, yeah, seven points I'm on as well out of four. I've got Decore now coming off my bench for this game. So, if Liverpool can go and win four or five one and Decore gets a goal, I'd be quite happy. Oh, I want a queen sheet. I need a queen sheet in that game. What about yourself, Anish? How are you getting on? I am having a bad game week. Nine from five at the moment. Nine from five. Things stand. Yeah, you'll yeah, be all right. Crystal, that Crystal Palace late goal ruined my double brain clean sheet. I think that happened to Chelsea Flyer earlier as well. I'm sure the lads were saying when I got back from Edinburgh, I'm sure they were saying the same. He had double Brighton. Yeah, he did. Yeah, it's just the one goal. Kill right, him. I've got Ian's just came in and Polly, I'm just dragging in. James in chat saying, my mini league rival has got Pope as his vice with Captain Vardy. Oof. Decent. Evening, Paul Ian. Ian. All right, mate. Hi. How are we? Good. All good. All good. So I may have missed the predictions for this game. So where are we all at? Davey, I'll start with you at the top and work my way down the chat. So Davey, what, what were you predicting for this game? Uh, I've, got, I've got all my predictions right so far, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. You're all, you like a little modest brag, eh, Davey? Well, it's not like I don't know anything like Block FDL. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you predict for this one then? But um, I said Liverpool win. I said two 0 I think. Okay, Ian, what about you, pal? I'm gonna go for four nil. Oft, Harbour boy, where are you at? Uh two nil. Okay, Polly. Three nil Liverpool. And Anish. Three nil as well. I'm going. F- I'm going three one with the Corey getting that one goal. That's what I'm hoping for. Slight bias there, Lama. Never, never. <laughs> when have I ever been biased at my team? <laughs> Says me as a Liverpool fan. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> Robertson can match Alonso. Who, so who have we all got playing? I've got um, I've got Salah captain. I've also got Mane, and I've got Trent. Same three, but I've got Mane as captain. Oh, interesting! Everyone else doubling, tripling up at least. I'm triple. I'm Robertson, Trent, Salah captain. <laughs> what about you, Harbour boy? Where are you? What you got? Uh, Salah, Captain, Trent, Vice, and uh, Virgil. Oh, he's due a goal actually. He's he's due. Uh, he's due a couple this week. You did, Davy. Yeah, I did Virgil to Robertson. Oh, you could be kicking yourself if he's. I, I think I think Van Dyke's on for a goal. By the way, do you see him the other night? I did, but like he's away record. Virgil Van Dyke isn't very good. I think Manny and Firmino are the two that I'm kind of dreading, if I'm being honest, especially when I look at the Liverpool away records. But I had to stick with Salah, though. The only reason why I did it was because Robertson, in the last like four game weeks, has created just as many chances as Trent. So if he's, if his assist threat's going up to, to like Trent levels, that kind of worries me a bit. Because uh, that makes me think he'll outscore Virgil van Dijk between now and the end of the season. Hmm. So we're about 15 minutes away, I think. I don't think there's been any major changes. I know Jason mentioned the uh, injury to Gomez, but I think a lot of people have probably already got rid of him. I think Philip has him. Oh, does he? Yeah, I think 
Yeah, New what, clear new? Nope, if you want to work, just ask him to now. <laughs> You're not going to let him live it down, are you? Can you not just give him a week and just say, you know, Pot Pal, well done to you. You played yeah. your free hit chip and you played it really, really well. Oh, no, 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 I'm not having that. I'm just looking at my team now. I've got, I forgot I've got triple wolves for tomorrow. Uh, what triple wolves have you got? Uh, Patricio, Triore, and Jimenez. Ah, okay. I've got Doc, I mean, if, Jimenez, and Triore. If Salah and Mane, or one of the, if Salah and Mane were to both blank, oh, you didn't go ahead with the Trent captain, Davy? No, I changed it. All right. All right Why did you change it? Um, three reasons. One, I read a captain sensible article on a very famous website where it went into underlying stats quite a lot um, two Stevo was going to captain Trent and <laughs> the third reason was because Buna took a massive hit yeah I did notice that yesterday even though I was away and I was kind of thinking Geez, old Buna's going to end up on a minus 12, the same as Steve at this rate, especially when that Vardy news came. I didn't want his captain bailing him out, so I thought I'm going to make sure that I make sure that he doesn't get too far in front of me. How's that working out? Uh, I've always, he's had what? I've got six players left to play, Buna's got four. To be fair, yeah. he's, he's a. He's used a chip though, so he can't really be too beat down about it. Yeah, he's used his chips. So... Onwards and upwards, that's all we can say, Davey. Just onwards and upwards. I just you still got all the chips. On me nailing my chips between now and the end of the season. Anish, I love my chips. I'm Scottish. I love my chips. And I love my chips battered. As long as they're not extra salty. You never get salt with me. Bloody hell, Boone has got a 50-point lead on me over the last two weeks. <laughs> Just in two weeks? In two game weeks, he's opened up a 50-point lead. Yeah, because he's, he's, he's got 82 points and he's got 30, like 48 points right now or something like that after bonus. I was just going to have a quick look and see what the uh, Elimination League was looking like. How's the Champions League looking as well? Oh, that's an interesting shout. Still can't believe you got Alonso. Mm. What a score. Alonso. That's a, it's a pick and a half, that, isn't it? In a game week like this, we know we're just getting any points. Having one monster of two changes everything. I know, I know. Just having a wee quick scout at Nish, Nishi's team. He's on 13 points. Is anybody winning their Champions League match? Yes. I'm, I'm losing mine now. Has anybody qualified yet? Yeah, yes. there's, well, I think there's only two people qualified, I think. I think it's uh, Vince Chapman's qualified. And Brew. And who else? Brew. Yeah. yeah. So, it's all it is. To, so is it all to play for in all the other groups, or is it just between a couple of people? Nah, honestly, Davey, I didn't think a lot of the groups would be as close as what they actually are. Um, like, Group A, for it, like, you know, quickly to go through it, Group A has got nothing in it. Um, That's the one Ian's in, FPL Anderson's in. So he's second on 12, the now tops on 15, but then third place is on 10, and then fourth and fifth are both on 9. So with this game, we can two after it. That's all to play for. Yeah, so basically two wins out of the three will put you through. Uh, my group that I'm in, Giant Killing, uh, is up there on top on 16. I'm on 15 points. Uh, Nish is on 10. 
and then fourth and fifth are on nine. So if I, I reckon if I can win this game week, then I'm putting a bit of distance between myself and third place. That's kind of how I'm looking at it. But yeah, another another group that's close. <clears throat> Yeah, and then I'm just, I'm, honestly, some of these groups, like, so you've got, like, uh, Disable there, so, you know, Luke. Yeah. Um, so he's on he's on joint second and now on 13 points. Fourth place is on 12 and tops on 16. Honestly, uh, pretty much every group's tight. But if there's anyone wants me to have a look at a particular group, by all means, shout and I shall. But you could look at Group K because it's what this the only place where Booner's doing terribly. Oh come on! You just want to kick the guy. I, I can safely say that Booner has won whoever he's playing against this week. He's playing Patrick this week. Yeah, but he's uh, he's he's already he hasn't won any games. This will be his first. This will be his first win. No, Booner's won one. He's on three. Is he? Yeah, yeah, he's on three oh. points. But yeah, first and second in that group, both on 15 points. Ray Joyce is sitting there on third and now on 12. Fourth and fifth are both on nine points, and then Boone is on three, which will probably be six. So, yeah, okay, so Boone might struggle, but as a group, the group's still tight. Yeah, that that's, that's me on nine points. Yep. So you've still got it all to play for. Yeah, I'm up against... Um... Daksha and he's uh he's he's got a good wild card team. So oh, did he wild card? Did he? Yeah, he wild carded two weeks ago. Oh, okay. So what? Uh, how is he doing the now? Do you know? Let's have a look, shall we? He's on 19 points now, Harbour Boy. If you folk want to have a look at groups. Uh, triple F. Hello, Triple F. How are we? Let's have a look at you then, shall we? Group O. Okay, okay. Yeah, so that's another group that's tight. First and second place on 15 points. Third place on 13. Davy FPL's on 10. Triple F's on 6. And then Dan Bull's holding up the table there at the bottom on 3 points. Who's Triple F playing? Dan Bull? Yeah, you should win that. Triple F, you should beat Dan. See, Jason's just made himself a big free course meal there. Just to get himself all sucked into this Liverpool game. Is Pookie consistent, guys? Or is DCL... A wise choice. This is from Ruben Diaz. What are we saying I in the link? What is the guy you start the season with and then end it with? Look at his fixtures. They're just they're really nice between now and the end of the season. Like and really, you want to be targeting these teams that are fighting to survive towards the end of the season. Well, I know we're not a tipping site. But how would you play the end of your season? Like, would you be would you be looking to try and put like bring some of these players in that are fighting for their lives? Because I don't know. I think that's almost like a lottery. I'd attack the fixtures. You just bring in the players that have the better fixtures. You put yourself in the most advantageous position to do well by bringing in the players from the best from the teams that have the best fixtures and bringing in the best players from those teams. 
Yeah, but what I'm saying is, is that if these teams are in the bottom four stroke, say five, that are all fighting to survive, would you risk bringing any of their their players in? Yeah, because they've got something to play for. I don't know. I think that's a risky gambit, that one, you know. All right, I'm back. My free co- Do you want to know what my free course meal is that you said I'm making? Go for it. Was it does it start with Cocoa Pops? My starter is a ready-salted Pringle, right? That's my starter. <laughs> what, just a Pringle? Are you just bragging because you've got loads of chips now? <laughs> Very good. My main course, oh, like my main course, and my dessert is also ready salted Pringles. So there you go. Wow, that's that's uh, right. So and now you're going to wash it down with some uh, some Coca Cola and just go for the proper balanced FPL diet. No, I've got a mocha. Oh, a mocha gappage. A bit of a gappage going on, yeah. Someone was asking there about having a look at groups. Which group are they after? Group F. O, I believe. Oh, why is it doing that? I'm on Dylan looking at asking for group F. Oh, that's my group. Right, let's have a look at the group of death, shall we? So John Harris, up until this game week, is still on top on 15 points, right? But then you have Jason. As I'm and Dylan, Oof. Keyboy, Oof. Eh, sorry, and I'm and Dylan all on 12 points, and then Keyboy on nine, and not taking anything that, away that from Double M, is, but he's holding it up there on three. That is a group of death right there. Whatever happened to him anyway? Like he was doing so well for like, the first few game weeks of the season, like up until Christmas in the cash league. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, but I think Double M's bringing out his own version of the Where's Wally Brooks. Because it's just where's Marlon? He was first for so long. Not too loud. If you're going to have the match on, make sure that you turn your microphone off. Yeah, I'm gonna have the match on mute. Or just just have it turned down so that you might just make sure you've got your microphone muted if you've got the match on loud. Do you know the only thing I've noticed here, Jason, about this push to talk with the control button? See when I use the scroll wheel on my mouse. Right. <laughs> Everything yeah. goes blood What massive. what do you what is your push to talk button? The control button. Oh right, and yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. And I know I can change it, I know I can change it, but I was just well, like have you not got? Have you not got a mouse with? Massive. Have you got an right? Have you not got a mouse that's got um, buttons on the side? Yes, I do. You can always bind it to a a mouse button. Yeah, I might do that. So this is my mouse. Yeah, my one's similar. It's a good mouse. Oh, my phone. So, Jason, what did you predict for this game, by the way? I, I, don't did, know if I, heard I didn't. I didn't do my predictions in the end. I missed this week. How bad is that? So, oh, okay. ba- so, so basically, this week, the last week was like my my workload um, in my full time job was just like doubled. I was finishing late from work. Uh, I had an expo that I, I had to get up really early for on Thursday. And I was meant to do a stream on Thursday evening. I couldn't because I was physically just drained and exhausted. Ended up going to bed early on that one. Woke up and I've been feeling quite ill. Um, like, I don't know if it was fatigue or something, but I've been having like... I woke up like four in the morning on Friday morning. Hey, Anish, can you just mute yourself, mate? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Just, just hearing you blowing down the mic, it's just off-putting when I'm trying to talk, that's all. Yeah, so four in the morning on Friday, I was just, um, I, I woke up and I was just literally sweating. I had to have a shower. And I You put... must have known Vardy was going to. <laughs> yeah. like, I knew you were going to say something about that. <laughs> corona, don't say oh Corona. Oh my God, there's, there's something in my head telling me that Vardy's not going to make it today. 
I don't know what it is. Didn't have any worries about. I, I, I didn't own him anyway, so it doesn't matter. I wasn't thinking about getting him in. Um, but no, I, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was like a forty-eight hour thing, but I was just feeling really bad. And like Friday night, I was going to do something. Um, bef- yeah, What's with with, with Stevo. Um, I don't know. Everyone's got muted. Yeah, because you've you've deafened yourself. That's why. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the game should be kicking off now. Uh, I'm so I'm watching it on the Sky app, and it's not quite as bad as Dre, but it's at least twenty seconds behind. So yeah, we're on just so everyone. Okay. So, yeah, so I don't think you actually said what your prediction was going to be, James. <laughs> what do you reckon? <laughs> what do you reckon? I, went, I to... went off on a little bit of a story. Um, no, my, my prediction. Uh, now Lovren's playing. Um, I think I would have gone with a 2 0 win to Liverpool. But now I'm thinking it could be 2 1 to Liverpool. Interesting. To Corey getting that Waterford goal, though, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking Dini. Or Delefeu. Here we go. Salah. Who's looking the best, better of the both teams so far? Then it's all Liverpool, is it? <laughs> it's just much of a muchness, to be honest. I said this last week, though, when I was on air with Steve. I think it was, yeah, or, or in the Lama Lounge. I can't even remember. Um, but Liverpool have like. <sighs> You could be sitting looking at a nothing each right up until about 70 minutes and then Liverpool will go and score three. And if you haven't watched the game, you'd think, oh, that was dead comfortable. That's just how Liverpool seem to be at the moment. Yeah. Watford can be a tough team. I agree completely with fantasy football focus. I think with Saar back in the team, their goal threat has uh, been, been boosted, definitely. Yeah, Definitely. Watford can yeah, be very they're stubborn. In, they're, in the worst, they're in the bottom three for defensive statistics last four game weeks. In the I league. think the only Watford has is to a second. Like we saw with West Ham, the best form of defence against Liverpool is attack. You can't yeah, sit yeah. back against Liverpool. If you sit That's back... We were... Yeah. Hmm. Sorry, Jason. Hmm, go on. No, it was just that's exactly what was happening during the week. That is what we were watching, wasn't it? It was a Liverpool West Ham game, and West Ham were just going at it. Mhm. And they, they and they really made it hard for Liverpool. Yeah, well, that's. I think Davy P actually mentioned it that like the the, the defense just looked rattled. Mhm. Early doors, what for the pressing high? They're not allowing Alisson to easily pass the ball out the back. Was that, that was Pep that brought that whole thing in, wasn't it? Just start from the back and work your way out. Barcelona, oh, I wasn't think it? it from, I think he took that from Bielsa, isn't it? Wasn't Bielsa the one that started that whole idea, ideology? Bielsa? Bielsa. Who's Bielsa? The Leeds manager, Bielsa. Oh, really? I think um, Pep took it from him. He's the one that started all this playing off the back and then pressing high up the pitch. Yeah, Watford are quite happy to just attack them. No, mate, it was Torquay United. That they're the ones that started it. <laughs> Torquay. <laughs> <laughs> the, the keeper used to play a sweeper. That's like the role that I used to play at school. It was like, <laughs> sleeper, 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 sleeper. It was always the case in school, it was always, is it a rush keeper? Yeah. Do 
in school, did you used to play football when um, in the playground? They did they have the um, the soft the soft footballs in primary school? Do you remember the um, like what, fo- the, ones the foam? Also, the, what, the ones that you used for dodgeball as well at the no, same time. The ones that filled with water when you used to play. Um, so they were like a foamy ball, and they used to, like if it was raining or it was really like wet, they would soak up like the puddles and all that. And the sponge ball would turn into like this massive sopping wet, wet yeah. sponge, and someone would yeah. smack it, it like and a ton weight. someone someone would end up getting smacked in the face, and like <laughs> literally like a pail of water just been thrown over them. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I remember, ladies. That was the same ones that we used when we were playing dodgeball. I just was thinking back on how, like, you just wouldn't get away with some of the stuff that I that we used to get, like, that used to happen to us at school. Like, so we used to play dodgeball on the wooden benches. So you'd have to stand on a bench. Obviously, people were throwing the ball at your ankles. So, like, people would be falling off onto, like, a wooden floor and like fractioning, you know, elbows and stuff like that. And I'm thinking, there's no way you would get away with that these days. Mate, you can't even play conkers these days. Just, it's you know. madness. I thought they so made you can't... Uh, leather footballs. I wouldn't be so... I, 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 oh, yeah, and that, that reminds me as well. When we used to play um, in school with the leather footballs, because we'd play on the on the tarmac in the school playground with the leather football, We all you, all the leather used to get like destroyed off the ball <laughs> yeah. and then yeah. and what it would do is it would leave these sharp like fragments of leather on the <laughs> on the like kind of on these sewed hems of the ball and like if you ever got smacked with that or it hit you it could it could scratch you that listen was... kids kids nowadays do not know um, no. what it's like to end up with might or delta tattooed on your thigh when you've been <laughs> scudded by a ball and went my primary school band playing with footballs, we had to play with a bottle top. A bottle top? Yeah, we had to take, like, had to, if you had a bottle of Pepsi at home, you took bottle top it next day and played with that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I remember playing with cans of Coke, like empty cans of Coke, and just kicking yeah. that around. And I, I remember like, um, we weren't allowed to play football, and yeah, we just literally have to improvise. But tennis balls and stuff like that, but... Uh, Heads and volleys, of course. Everyone, uh, well, I'd assume lots of people play heads and volleys. That was an awesome game, heads and volleys. Yeah, and they also banned British bulldogs as well. Yeah. They banned heading, though, wasn't it? Yeah, the heading thing's interesting. Yeah, I played football on concrete, and guess what? I was in goal. So you might, I, I played in goal a lot at school. I played for the school team in goal. And growing up, primary school and into secondary school, I was the school goalkeeper, and I used to play on the on the tarmac. And my, oh my god, how I don't have problems with my elbows and my shoulders. <laughs> like, because the amount of times I would throw myself onto a, like, why would you in any walk of life willingly throw yourself onto a concrete floor? So Liverpool got the first corner. So take that a step further. In this, so the school league that I that we would play in. So when you're going around and you're playing all the other schools and all that type of jazz, it wasn't like your four G football parks or anything like that. No. Some of the parks that we used to play on were ash, <laughs> you know, like that red ash stuff. Yeah. And like what you're saying, you would go in for slide tackles, and blood was like dripping down your leg, and then your mum had to come up to you with like a dental bottle after the match with like a sponge. To be fair though, the four G pitches, if you. Have you been on one and tried to do a sliding tackle? Wouldn't recommend well, it. Yeah, exactly. I, I was just going to say, my I feet were burning. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing... St- it's like doing it on carpet. Friction, yeah. like friction burns. Um, we played on a tennis court, so you had the small holes with no nets. Where you twisted your ankle. Yeah, there was so, there was so many injuries. Kids playing football, like school. Yeah. That's before health and safety was an actual thing, I think. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Some of the stuff now, you just wouldn't get away with it. Um, Zahil in chat says, I was playing footy last week and we were doing rush goalie. The ball was so hard and it was raining really bad. I ran into the goal and the guy shot it and smashed my thumb. Still got the bruises. Has anyone ever stubbed your finger on a football? That is painful. Stubbed it on a basketball. But yeah, oh, I, I, I know what you're saying. Get winded as well. I remember the first time I got winded in a football game, in a football match. Jeez, I thought, I thought, 
I thought that was it. I thought it off. Who? Then scored. Oh my God! Was it a save by Allison? No, he, hit, he he took a shot from about eighteen yards out, hit the top of the roof, the roof of the net. <laughs> top of the roof of the stadium, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> I'm back to foot me tomorrow. Let's hope it doesn't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good attempt. <clears throat> I remember. What, 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 sorry, yeah, carry on. I was just going to say, there's one from Reese to you, Jason. What are you going to do with Aubameyang? Nothing. Going to play him next week against West Ham. Aubameyang a boomerang. I'm hoping he gets a double. I was asking the lads earlier, but I don't think anything's been announced yet. I think they haven't till Wednesday to announce it. Nothing's okay. been announced. Um, I remember when I was a kid, going back to nostalgia, um, we used to play in, in the area we used to live and grew up. Um, I lived in a cul-de-sac and everyone kind of knew everybody. It was a really open community. And we used to have a park. Uh, well, the park's still there now. And actually, it's just two goalposts. It's quite a big park. And it's just a field with two goalposts, really. Um, they've got a swing park now, but that's by the by. Um, we used to play golf there and we used to hit the ball between the goals. But the, the biggest, coolest thing that used to happen was every Saturday, we used to just have the, literally the whole neighbourhood. So it could be like 30, 40 people playing football so you'd have like 20 aside um playing football on a field that is normal size it was actually like ridiculously it was so much fun yeah i mean see like where i am like we would be it was very very it sounds very very similar if we went up to like the playing park you easily you were getting 20 aside 24 well, aside the thing is i look or, back at it now i look at I, it or, or playing like hide and seek and that, and there would be about forty playing hide and seek I, and, and like your crescent. But see now, I play for hide and seek. What we called it trackers, which is kind of an evolved, an evolved form of hide and seek, which probably is illegal. So it involved it involved <laughs> hiding, but there was probably a bit of trespassing involved on certain premises as well during that time. And we used BB guns and laser pens. Yeah, um, but moving on. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you certainly do that a step further. Than, like, like, so instead of so instead like, of hiding, in, hiding in other people's gardens, were okay, but like to laser pen someone, yeah, that's, that's taken at a different. That's going to hold down different road. And and um, I remember the, the, the going back to the football. Uh, we used to play manhunt. That's it, manhunt. That's it, Reese. God, crazy. Um, the the football games we used to play in the in the in the neighbourhood um, with the forty people. There used to be kids, like seven or eight year old kids, and like forty year old men, and, and like and like you'd see like these kids going in like two footed, and the men like proper smashing the kids off the ball. And I was thinking, like literally, no one cared about your age. Like how no. someone how someone didn't get really injured, I do not know. I really don't know how the air ambulance oh, yeah. were, how the air ambulance de- never made an appearance at my local park. I do not know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we were the same. Like, uh, like our like our parents and that would be coming up to the field playing alongside us, and they would just upend you. And if you started to like even faintly cry about it, they'd be like, "Would you just man up? Just go on with it. <laughs> How are you meant to play football if you can't even take a challenge off of someone like me?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, that you'd have like reckless challenges, I and mean, there's no referee. There's no referee going. Yeah, that's it. You're not playing anymore. Send you off. Like it literally was like two footed challenges. And then like if the majority of people thought yeah that was a foul, they would give a free kick. It wasn't like one person that that made the decision. It was actually kind of a self governed football match. Yeah. See, like what Paulie's talking about there. We used to play a thing called pears and lemons. <laughs> so you would, there would just be like one one goalkeeper. And like thirty eight sets of pairs. Oh like, no! Know, or, yeah, we used to call you know like eighteen yeah. pairs of people kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And you just kept playing until you got down to like the last four people. That would be you for five hours. The Corey's had a shot. Saved? Is it? Oh. Okay. I want to know about Allison's all, saves. That's why I care about. The last six, the last five minutes, the whole game's been in Liverpool defensive half. Really? Yeah. God. Oh, Wembley, that's the name of the. That's it. It's called Wembley. Yeah, Wembley. What yep, was the Wembley name of it? It's called Wembley. Name. Yep. Did you? Did any of you guys in chat or you guys? Do you remember playing Kirby? Oh yes, ten point ten points. Have you got it <laughs> yeah. from your side? Five points from half. 
Yeah. Did any of you guys play cricket in your local cul-de-sac or present? Because I tell you now... Hey, when it comes to cricket, I'd rather stick two forks in my eyes. Well, that might well, just be a Scottish thing. When, well, basically, I lived in a cul-de-sac. So picture this, right? Picture this. The road ends and then there's a turning circle at the end of the road. Okay? So we put the wicket at the end of the turning circle. And hardly any cars used to drive down. It was a few driveways for, for houses. And... Um, you know, any normal person would use like a soft ball, right? We used a cricket ball. And and Mrs. I don't know her name. Mrs. Uh, it was like this old woman that lived literally about two doors behind the wicket. Yeah, the ball went through her window one day. This before the like she had single pa- paned windows, and it went straight through. And I can still remember to this day the scream because I think she was. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. She was washing up at the time, so no. <laughs> she was, no. and, and, and it was a ki- and that was a kitchen. So it was literally <laughs> yeah. she screamed, and I just remember everyone just bolted, bolted, yeah. it, like li- everyone bolted. <laughs> do, <Ruby. laughs> Here, hold that cricket bat for a sec. <laughs> but everyone, everyone knew everybody where I lived. So I, th- uh, I think Tom, uh, my friend Tom, who was the one who actually. He, he tried to do a safety shot with a cricket bat. So if you don't know, I don't know if it is a safety shot. I don't know if that's the name of it. I'm not a cricket fan or anything like that. You just lift the bat up and you're just trying to do a, a playing it safe, you know? It just it skimmed the bat and flicked <laughs> straight through the window. <laughs> I remember I, 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 did put, I did put a football, you know, like the wind catchers, or that's what I used to call them. It was like they bought footballs that were like very, very lightweight. So we used to call them wind catchers, and one of them went, I hit it, and one of them went right through someone's window, the neighbour across the road. And then, I, and then, as a kid, though, you just do the stupid thing of running into your own house as if like no one knew it was you kind of thing. <laughs> and then within, <laughs> within five minutes, like uh, the guy across the road chapped my mum and dad's door. Uh, Stevie's, Stevie's just put a ball right out. through our kitchen window. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never done it, that honest. I remember going back to the local park um, where I used to grow up. We used to play golf at the top and bottom, and so we used to basically hit the ball. And the goal was, well, the aim was to get the ball through the goalposts. So you'd literally start at one end with the driver, and you'd hit it, and you got to try and get it through the goalposts. And then behind it, you've got like a fence and some shrubbery, and. Um, I remember the one time I was... This is about being a child and a bit uh, fearing nothing as a child, right? So there's me stood at the bottom of the field, right, with my younger sister. And my mate is at the top of the field with a driver. And he's smashing the ball towards me, who stood behind the goals. So I'm thinking, yeah, I'll get the ball like when it goes past. I'm thinking... No fear whatsoever. He hits this ball, it comes straight at me, and guess what I use? I I picked up one of those what are those things that you bounce on? Um, you know, the the space hopper thingies. Is it a space Oh wow, no no you are going I back picked to up space a hopper. I picked this space hopper up and literally like cowered behind this space hopper and the ball smacked the space hopper and flew up into the air. Like literally you if you wouldn't believe it unless you saw it. But like the things I used to get up to as a child, it's like would make your head spin. Oh, this was this was well before like Pepsi and Mentos. I mean, health and safety. I mean, God, it was gone. Liverpool have another corner. Okay. Liverpool with a corner. What do you mean another corner? It sounded like it was all Watford a minute ago. Okay? So I mean, like the second corner of the game. <coughs> okay. Jeez, old Jordi Kev. We went straight in there with about <laughs> two-two rifle. What? I shot a neighbour in the arse with a two two rifle when I was about twelve and he was washing his windows on a ladder. Oh. Jesus. oh my god, no way. Do you know the other thing you don't see and I'm just gonna leave this here now because I'm gonna get a bottle of beer. Do you ever remember um when it's probably Jason. I know I'm older than you, but we're kind of of that same type era. Mm. So if you were at the play park and you managed to kick a ball into like a set of bushes and stuff like that, how many times did you used to come out with a magazines? But now <laughs> don't get them at all. 
<laughs> It'll be back in a sec. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you're on about. Yeah, it's a bit dodgy that there's bushes. Really dodgy bushes. <laughs> Lovren doesn't look settled. Oh yes, spot! Reese, Reese, I know exactly yeah, so you miss you have to hit the the wall and every time you miss it you'd spell it yeah. You you basically spell the word spot. And then you'd and then you'd be out. Is that Salo, is that when everyone's turned around in the goal and you got smashed the ball at them? Um Heads and volleys, yeah, we were talking about that earlier on. Heads and volleys was an amazing game. It's still it's still played today. Um, I spent, I spent hours playing that one. It's brilliant. I'd be up for heads and volleys. If someone was like, right, who's up for a game of heads and volleys? I'd be like, yep. Yeah. Doesn't involve me having to run a full length of a 90-metre football field. So, yeah, I'll just do heads and volleys. And you'd always get the, the clever dick that wants to try and do an overhead kick. <laughs> Yeah, uh, one of my friends once did that and ended up breaking the bone. <laughs> that, that, one right in, that one right down above your bone. That one. <clears throat> Overhead kick, missed the ball and landed on that and broke it. So when you get, I don't know if it's easier now I'm older. <clears throat> Reese, heads and volleys. The joints aren't as free as they used to be. I'm, I sit down a lot at my job. I need, I need to be more active, to be fair. Join a five-a-side league or something. This game is a bit drab. <laughs> it's going to end nil-nil, isn't it? It's going to end nil-nil. I mean, Marnie hasn't even touched the ball yet this game. <laughs> really? He's not even touched yeah, the ball. Yeah, but like... Game, but every time he does that... Uh, yes, yeah, ever have a keeper throw it? Yeah, we used to have that a lot. Uh, so it was acceptable that if um, if the keeper threw it at you and it hit any part of your body and they caught it before it landed, they were in goal. Um, yeah, I've got Captain Fernandez. yeah. Hopefully that could end up being a massive Massive um, bonus for me this weekend. If Liverpool fail to to do anything at, uh, away, away at Watford, kids are boring now. What about social media? You still see kids out playing, just not as much. I think that there needs to be a healthy balance between. I mean, I've got a little kid, and um, I don't want her to be kind of just sat like glued to a, a tablet or a phone or a screen. Yeah, I do up. believe though, but what Reese is saying though, I do kind of get that because like my mum and dad still stay where I grew up, and my sisters moved just down the road, and I know there's lots of kids there, but you never see them out. We were never. I used to, I just, I, I tell you now, if if my mum knew where I went, she would have a heart attack. Like I used to go, I would say easily 10, 15 miles away, like from where I lived. Oh, no. It was scary. Because it was like all fields. It was like farmer's fields, like woods, um, just natural, beautiful, like English countryside, essentially. I just take my bike and just go. Um, uh, but, that's, yeah. uh, like, what, like what Jordy's saying there, though, Jordy Kev, that's what he loves about the kids over in New Zealand. I think it's New Zealand Kev, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Like they're yeah, more kiddish. Yeah, He's in New Zealand with me. Yeah, I thought that. I thought that, mate. Yeah. A lot of people are trusting free free walls players. How come? Well, some people have got Yotta in, Jimenez in, um, Doherty in, Patricio in. Um, others like me have had no option but to field three Wolves players because I've got Dendonka coming in, uh, who I don't expect to get anything more than two points maximum. Um, just just to, for the ability to field eleven people. To be honest with you. Um, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be funny chat wouldn't it be really funny we can all laugh at me if and I say if my Cathcart 
gets a clean sheet. Wouldn't it be blimmin' hilarious? Wouldn't it be typical? I started, you know, started Dendonka over Cathcart and he gets four more points. That'd be that'd be hilarious. <laughs> of course, of course. I, I mean, it was an obvious move. I should have, I should have played Cathcart from the get go. It's still nil nil. What's going? What's going on? Are we? Are, are we? Are going to see Watford frustrating Liverpool, or do you think there's going to be, like you said, a, a, fl- a flurry could go, a flurry of goals could come at any time? It wouldn't surprise me if this is like this until about, as I say, 70, 75 minutes and then Liverpool go on and win like two or three nothing. Yeah. And then everyone will be like, how good good did Liverpool play against Watford? Here, Harbour boy, I think you and Jordi Kever try to get a hook up here. I think he lives a long way from me, though. I think he lives... Oh, New Zealand? New New Zealand's tiny, isn't it? It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Good, but it'd be like it'd be like him living in Newcastle and you living in Devon. All oh, right, okay, so it is a bit bigger than what I thought then. Yeah, it's not like the Isle of Man, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not like the Shetland Isles. <laughs> um, it's like it's like though when if I'm down south though, and it's like, oh, do you know a a Scott? He stays in Scotland. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know Scott. Yeah. What? Hang on, say again. What, what did you say? It's like when I'm down south. Yeah. And people come up to me like when I'm talking in a pub or whatever, and they're like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know like Scott Fraser? He he stays in Scotland." <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because Scotland's tiny." <laughs> That's just um, that's just stupid. Uh, apparently, um, New Zealand's got the same land size as UK, just a lot more scarcer population. Um, I think New Zealand is majority of it is blooming like Hobbit and um, Hobbit land, isn't it? Well, wait a minute. <laughs> you think that they're all tiny over in New Zealand? No, I went to a Scotland New Zealand rugby match, and they, I wouldn't be messing with you guys. Put it that. <laughs> Watford have a quarter right now. <clears throat> uh, yeah, see what you're saying, what Jordy's saying there about like uh, New Zealand being. Well, I think there was a lot of Game of Thrones. I'm sure there was Game of Thrones. But, Lords of the Rings, like, mate. That's why, I said, that's why I said. Or is it Lord of the Rings? That's yeah. why I said Hobbit. Scotland's a bit like that. As in. Good scenery. I like it. Yeah, Game of Thrones was filmed in Croatia and Bel- in Northern no, Ireland. Ireland. Northern uh, Ireland, I think. Oh, yeah. No, I think some of it was in Southern Ireland as well. But yeah, Ireland mm. and Croatia. There's no such thing as Southern Ireland. Don't don't Republic, don't ever. St- yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't 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 ever say Southern Ireland. They don't like that. I, I mean, like the south coast of. Ireland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. And then the Brov- is it the Brovnik for King's Landing? That uh, sounds yeah, about right, yeah. yeah. But what I didn't think, you know, talking about Lord of uh, Game of Thrones, what I didn't get is how did King's Landing turn into a desert before the winter came? Because it's not real. real. <laughs> Good answer. Yeah. I'll take that. Because the final season was rubbish. I'm still waiting for season eight to come out. Who? That was a parody, right? That... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just got, I just caught and dumped it. What you were going yeah, on about? Yeah, yeah. Then. Uh, they've started filming the prequel for it. No, I bet they have. Yeah, they definitely have. Yep. It's like Walking Dead, isn't it? They keep, they keep milking that. Oh, don't, don't. <laughs> you know the walk it, the Walking Dead's getting like EastEnders. You can go for years and never watch it, and then just watch one episode and catch yeah. yourself right up. I know. <laughs> how does how are the zombies going, still? How does sorry? We're going to we're going to go from A to B and not get caught. All right. Yeah. Let's do. 
Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better now, Chelsea Flyer. Thank you for asking. No, but how are the zombies still alive? Or still, not, not alive, but you know what I mean. How are the zombies still able to animate themselves without a constant food source? Because the... Yeah, you know, that's what I understand. That, because you see, like, that that must be going on for years now, the Walking Dead storyline. And there's just no... I, I mean, I know it's not real, but there's just no expl <laughs> explanation on how these things can stay animated. It just makes no sense. Um, yeah. Watford twice now played brilliantly versus Liverpool. This could be a bit of a bogey team, and I think... Um, yeah. Come on, Decore. Okay. Oh, for God, you cop. <laughs> no, come to nothing. I'm liking my Decore pick for game week 31, you know. What, you've brought him in? Oh, I've had Decore in for weeks. What? You playing him now? No, he's come off my bench. Oh, so you hate Right, so... He was my hero last season in the double game. I wouldn't mind a nil-nil, to be honest. A nil-nil would suit me down to the ground. Clean sheet for, a clean sheet from Alexander-Arnold, a blank from Salah that's owned by 99.999999% of all you guys. And then... How, how many was that? I'm not going to say it again. And then um, a, a Bruno Fernandes, um, two goals and an assist um, tomorrow afternoon away at Everton. That would be ideal. Got tickets yesterday, Jason, for the Europa Cup final. You got tickets to the final, did you? Yeah, just in the hope that Man United get oh, there. And, you know, I... and, and do you know what makes it even worse? Where is it at? See, see if they don't get to the final. Where's the final at? You still, you, you still have to give them 30 quid. <laughs> Where is the final at? Uh, do you know, I'm not even sure. It's just my <laughs> text me yesterday. I'm just like, I'm going to get tickets. So you walk in a couple hours like yeah, Wait, just... so you you don't know where it is? Isn't it at Wembley as always? Hang on. There's a, it's a, it's Stadion, Stadion Energy Gdansk. So it is. There's a stoppage. What? Van Dyke's just pushed uh, Delefeu off ball and his foot's got caught in ground and his ankle and knees both just twisted around. Oh, no. So it's yeah. in Poland, I think. Oh, hang on, I don't know where this is. Hang on, bear with me. Azerbaijan. Yeah, it's Poland. It's Poland. Oh, that's not far. I've been to Poland. It's only a couple of hours on the on the plane. It's only a little tr little trip. Yeah. The stad stadium looks pretty nice. Stadium does look nice. Hmm. Get really cheap fights as well. Yeah, cheap as chips. Uh, not of Man United. You get there, it won't be cheap. Well, no, but you've already right. purchased the uh, ticket for the final, and you just get yourself a get. Your, well, that's well. I suppose you don't want to book it all now, just in case. But well, you can just get the get a flight to what was it, Krakow, and then get the train. Mm. Delafeu looks in absolute agony here. Yeah, by the way. Yeah. All, all oxygen mask and oh no! Is he broken his? Is he broken his uh, ankle? No, do you reckon? I, I, I think it's more his knee. Really? Yeah. It was a really weird twist. It just went straight down, and um, he had more. Well, Paris Saint Germain have just gone two 0 up against Dijon. Oh, thanks for that. Yep. Who's that that looks like they're coming on, Polly? Um, I don't know. I'm sure that's who Bruno's got on his bench, you know. Is it not Will Hughes? Oh, is it Hughes? Is it, is it? Is it a blonde guy? Yeah. Yeah. Is is it look, he's, not, he's already on. Isn't it it's Mary another blonde guy there. Pereira? In the mentioned Pereira, yeah. But I didn't I see I thought him. he was already on. That's a shame for uh, Watford, isn't it? De Feu, arguably their best player. Oh, what am I talking about? I keep forgetting that Bruno's free hit. He's doing all right, though, isn't he? 35 points. Yeah, Pereira's coming yeah, on. Pereira's coming on. Yeah, Bruno's on 42 after bonus, though. Bruno's loving life at the moment. Yeah, but this, just remember, though, guys, that uh, the week after he done well the last time, he took a minus 12 because he got cocky. <laughs> he always does it, though. Every time. 
Um, his yeah, his foot stuck in the turf, and then his and he twisted his knee. Yeah, stretches out, and he looks like he's going to be gone. Could be an ACL. Come on. Come on, Davey, you're the doctor. What's he done? I can't really see. Are you a doctor? No. <laughs> I've still got a 20 minute clip, Jason, from about six months ago when Davy P was telling us all about Salah's injury. I just know a lot about anatomy. You know a lot about anatomy? <laughs> you paid attention in biology? No. Did you, did got you... In it. Oh, that's cool. I think what I'd done in biology was open a frog. Oh, well, oh, I did that in biology. That was weird. Yeah. All I did was plant some flowers. And watched them grow. Jesus. And I still failed. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you forget to water your own flowers or something? Yeah, I, I, I forgot to take it out at COVID over a week. Who <laughs> died? Do you know the only thing that we done to our bio, like our our biology department, if you like, were all in wooden huts, and the only thing we done was set it on fire by stupidly putting tea bags in laminators. I know, I know, that was that was um, that was chemistry for for me. We used to have serious issues with Bunsen burners, oh, and this this this, this this certain um, substance that um, is very much uh, something which you shouldn't give to children. Um, for, uh, what's the name of it? Oh, what's it called? I had yeah, the... but you would have, but you would have had your Joe ninety goggles on, no? I no. Well, sometimes no. The, the this stuff is in fireworks. What is it? Magnesium? Magnesium. Magnesium. <laughs> I'm telling you now, right? There used to be a group of ch children in my class that used to bank all the magnesium that we were given out. So we'd be given out these little tiny bits of magnesium for, just for like a experiment. You'd bank it up and we'd put it all in one big like kind of ball and yeah, that would scare the teacher. I think that no, no that hopefully no chemistry. That must have been physics when we all stood in a line and like held hands and then touched that ball that makes your hair go up. That's uh, you know, physics. Like, that, the static stuff. Yeah, that'd that, be physics. That physics yeah. yeah. So you don't get this kind of chat on any other FPL channel, do you? Only because nothing's going on at the moment, other than an unfortunate injury to Delafeu. I mean, it's been a uneventful uh, first half other than the Delafeo shot that was narrowly over. I mean, the fact that Anish keeps coming out with the fact that corner, a second corner kick is the most exciting part that we've had so far. <laughs> oh, oh, Buna's, Jason, I'll let you read it out, but Buna's just hit Davy below the belt there. Uh, Davy, um, just, uh, just don't worry. He, he, he doesn't mean it. Uh, Jason, yeah. can you can you let Davey know that v uh, VVD, who he sideways transferred out to Robbo, is currently bossing the BAPS? Um, <clears throat> still early days. And Robertson's on for Robertson's got there with BAPS as well. Someone's, someone's at the, got the door. Someone's at the door. <laughs> Deliveroo. <laughs> You're so cruel, Boona. <laughs> Just seen that. F the silence. FPL Elite. FPL Elite has got Delafeu. Ouch. Whose door was that anyway? Was it Davies? Yeah, I think so, yeah. He'll be getting his. No, uh, it wasn't mine. I don't have a doorbell. Oh. There is someone at your door. I thought that was your delivery of whey protein. No. <laughs> <laughs> a 
It's your delivery of mocha gappage. Uh, I was about to say that, yeah. I'm <laughs> that's the teacher at the door, Jason, wanting his magnesium back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's his old neighbour wanting money for a new window. <laughs> yeah. She, <laughs> yeah. She, she's just by chance watching the stream and thinks, so he's just confessed. I remember we stole the next door neighbour's, um, you know, like, you know, the like learner drivers like the people that teach you how to drive and they sometimes have like what looks like a Toblerone on top of their car what you mean a driving instructor like a, yeah driving instructor that's it listen I'm 10 Heineken's in um, yeah so he'd put his knife through a couple of our footballs so we just took the, the thing off the roof of his car after a night out and then my mate's mum because he rattled my mates. I thought you were going to say he put a knife through my footballs. I put a knife through his tyre. <laughs> so, and then she came into the room and, and like he came to the door and he was like, somebody's nicked, somebody's nicked it. And it's one of yous. And she came up the stair and, and it was just lying in the middle of my mate's bedroom. Floor. And then she went back down the stair. Nope, nope, don't know what you're talking about. It's nothing to see here. Some of the things you do when you're little. How old? Are, how old are you then? Uh, about twenty-three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were so little, mate. Not oh, the wind's blowing again. What's going on then in this game? <sighs> I'm 30, 30 seconds behind everyone else and I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> yeah, Trent took a sore one, the Robertson's hitting. Yeah, Troy Deeney did a nasty tackle on Trent, but he's got up from it. It was a bit late, to be fair. Oh, news flash. Lovren is now joint on bonus three with uh, Van Dyke. <sighs> I like that Robertson's hitting corners, though. So what, what's the what's the problem in this game then? Why has there not been any goals? Is it just been Liverpool not being able to get behind the the Watford defence, or has it just been Watford's possession? Watford's defensive positioning has been the reason. Like they're very well organised. <sighs> Who do Watford. I think will get? Nah, let's let's just be honest about it. Liverpool have just been absolute mint. So what for they're only attacking like three players every single time they go forward? Everyone else just sits back. Who do I think will get promoted to the Premier League next season? Um, I think Leeds, Leeds United. I want to see a part. Literally, I grew up with Leeds United in the Premier League. Man United, Leeds. Oh, I, I, I. I I grew up with Leeds United um, being in the the Europe as well. In was it was it the, was it the days before the Champions League? It was the UEFA Cup, wasn't it? Mm, yeah, it would have been. Uh, Leeds United, you were um, well, they are still a massive, massive club. It would be nice to see Leeds United. So I'm going to say Leeds United, and uh, probably just yeah, West Brom. Um, what's your thoughts? Not sure about the other two, but Leeds. They can't. Was it not last year they looked like they were going to get promoted and then kind of chucked it away towards the end of the season? It's, it wouldn't be surprising if it's the way it is at the moment. West Brom, Leeds, and Fulham. I mean, I can see Leeds winning the championship, to be honest with you. Their form of late has been really good. And yeah, I again, I'd like to see Nottingham Forest back in the Premier League. I would, I mean, again, grew up. With Not Nottingham Forest being a Premier League team, so what is it? Is it the is it the top top two that go through, and, and then, then it's, third, fourth, and fifth, then and sixth all play off? Yeah, playoffs. Right. Yeah, Not, I think West Brom and Leeds probably will be the first two to go up a rating. Trying to work out who's got the better run in of fixtures, but it's hard to tell. I don't. I don't really. I'm not really up to 
I'm not that clued up in the championship at the moment, to be fair. But I definitely think Leeds and um, West Brom have got a good shout. The third, the third club could be one of Bristol um, City. I, I just can't see Bristol City being in the Premier League. I see Nottingham Forest. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. I would love to see. I would love to see Nottingham Forest, Leeds, and West Brom back in the Premier League. No Fulham for you. I'm sick of Fulham. <laughs> <laughs> and if West Brom go in, I can go to their games to watch United when they play them. Be big, they'll be dirty matches, them Man United Leeds matches. Well, this modern game is not like it used to be. There used to be is it even even proper the, punch ups. Even the well, the, look at the Liverpool. Well, the Arsenal, Man United Arsenal used to be like that. Look at it now. What's that? Bill I was talking about. Did you hear about that Leeds keeper in the eight game ban? Yeah, racist um, remarks, I believe. Yeah. That could affect them. Yeah, oh, what's, so was what's it, happened was there, the, sorry? Was it the first team goalkeeper? Yeah, him that looked off from Real Madrid. No, really? It's the first team? I thought it was... Yeah, <clears throat> yeah eight match ban for racism. Wow. K Kiko Casilla. Found guilty of racially abusing Charlton Athletic forward Jonathan Laco. He denied the charge, but has been ordered to attend a face-to-face -face education session. Um, right, so, so I don't think he can be appealing it then. Yeah, Watford are doing pretty well here at just holding Liverpool back. Can you see this game being nil nil? Honestly? I can't see it finishing nil nil. What it needs is what it what it needs is Decore to score. No, he doesn't first. need that. First. It needs that to happen <laughs> first. And then Liverpool to then win three one. That's what it needs. It needs a little bit of a an injection. Wow. So, so are Liverpool really missing Jordan Henderson that much? <laughs> I know. Uh, that's a fair point that you make there because the last two games, they've, they have been a little bit ropey though. Yeah? Yeah, and it's, it's just such an, such an important position. Hmm. It's like like Leicester when they don't have Ndidi. Yeah, pivotal. Yeah, pivotal players. That's that's the difference. I, that's the thing that I would want to see somehow introduced into FPL. See if you could see if they could introduce something that you could get your Hendersons, your Ndidi's, your Canties from Chelsea, and get people picking them. I think that would make it a bit better. Like what we're talk you were talking earlier, Jason, about um this season and kinda of how it's been like and it has been like a roller coaster. Um but see if they could do something with how the points are distributed or something like that and start getting these central defensive mid like the people that are key to these teams, your Ndidis, your uh, Fernandinos, people like that, I think that would make it even more interesting. How would they do that? Um, because oh, no. um, oh, what? Wow! Ball just been clipped over at top. Allison's come out to claim it. He's dropped it. Dean has took it round him. 
miss it, it, it's been blocked, and then it's tried to lock keeper, it's gone out for a goal kick. Wow, so it's been blocked by who? It got saved by Alice. Oh, that's good, it's a save. The, yeah, he's gone to lob the keeper, and then I think Van Dyke might have put it out for Right, okay. I think Van Dyke has put it out. It looked like Van Dyke had put it out then. Yeah, the blood after I was. It should have really been 1 0 to Watford, that. Well, um, so, so so we've got an interesting one in, in Bill Allen chat. Every three. So, so basically, I think if they make. I'm going to steal Jordi Kev now, right? They may have they have a defensive midfield position. So I agree with that, Jordi Kev. So if they were to make a defensive midfielder position in the fantasy football game and only recognised defensive midfielders got that position, because otherwise you could abuse it. Um, I don't you, like any of us would do that. Um, and then you had, like, what... Um, Bill, I was saying, possibly about interceptions giving you points. So if you break a play and you know are involved in the the build up of a of a break and a goal or something like that, it's it's very hard to quantify. Have you looked? Have you ever looked into the fantasy uh, <laughs> the Sky game, the Sky's fantasy game? I haven't because no. I've heard. Yeah, no, I'm the same as you. I've never really looked into it, but I know that that's kind of set up <clears throat> similar. But there's a lot of major differences within it, and I don't know. I don't know if it's just that the game that we're all playing just now, or the majority of us are playing the now, is just kind of like a simplified version, and they're just maybe quite happy keeping it in that exactly because we're all simpletons. Well, I think, um, but I don't know. No, I think that. Um... For the majority of people that play this game, they don't want to have to consider more things um, because it's it, the hardcore. I would say that less than ten percent of the players in this game actually spend more than a few hours a week. Um, sorry, what I'm saying is um, what I'm saying is less than ten percent of the. Uh, of the players that play this game, probably, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I was right. Yeah, so basically, less than ten percent of the players that play this game spend like a re like religious amount of hours a week trying to plan their their team, uh, the formation, their their the advanced planning of, of players they're going to have in for future game weeks. Blah 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 blah. Especially this time of year where you've got, um, you know, the double game weeks coming in. Um, the the opportunity to use chips like the bench boost and the, the free hit etc 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 if we were to do more things like adding in another position or adding in or changing things around a little bit it could um, could backfire on the game and it could end up to yeah just like um, over complicated and yeah, put yeah. people off do you think possibly yeah because I think everyone kind of, like you said it's simple it's simple to play like sometimes you say it's simple to play the amount of times I speak to people about fantasy football they like what's fantasy football and then i like yeah. and i'm like well basically how they play in real life basically you get scored on how players play in real life and they look at you and they're like how uh, okay um the amount of people that it. still don't get, can't get their head around it it's quite that's quite... the that's the thing that draws me back so like when Margaret will turn around to me and be like you do realise what you've just spent five minutes trying to explain to me what it is you're actually doing just now. Uh, why are you getting yourself so worked up? It's just a game. Oh, you get frustrated and, yourself. Yeah, you yeah. get because yeah, there's only certain combinations that you can do, and there's only you're limited to the funds. You're limited to the amount of players for each team. You're limited to you know the, the formation, the the, the, the three. No, minimum. you're to you're totally right. But the only thing that I'm trying to say is is that. They're bound. They, I say they, as in the people in the fantasy towers, know that there's a vast majority of players are never going to get picked unless it's by people that are new to the game. Kante and people like that are very rarely ever going to get picked by people like you and I, for example, and the guys that are in the chat and the guys that are in alongside us just now, because we know they ain't going to get any fantasy points. 
It's not that they're bad players, they just ain't getting any fantasy points. And that's the bit that I think that if they could just do something to try and get some of those players picked properly, then I think it might just make it... It's hard, like what you've just described. It's not something that's easy to do, but if they could do it, I think it would just kind of... I don't know, spread, like what we are talking about earlier, there's no temp, or there hasn't really been a template team this season. So if they were to introduce something like that, it would make it even more interesting. Anyway. Yeah, perhaps. That's, that's my... I've just fell off my soapbox. <laughs> I still think that they should have carried on with their plans for that ultimate Premier League, or ultimate fantasy Premier League, whatever it was called. The... What was that? The Ultimate Fantasy Premier League or something like that. It was basically a paid version of fantasy football from the Premier League. Oh, okay. No, that wouldn't have worked. That it, wouldn't have be for that. Well, no, it, it, would have, it, it would have meant that it was a beta game. It was Ultimate Fantasy League. And the idea was you pay for five, I think it was like five pounds to sign up at the beginning of the season. Just a one-off fee. And then it just, it just meant that, um, I think it, yeah... It just meant that it had better prizes for people that did well. Um, the other thing that they need to try and sort out is see these people that can go and create a team every week. And then, like, so when you're looking at, like, who... I think you looked it up earlier, actually, on your stream earlier. You looked at, like, what this week's best team was. What's mm. it called again? I can't... Dream Team. Yeah, the dream, that's it. So the dream team for the week. But you get these people that just compete week on week to try and make the dream team. And you're just like, oh my God. I mean, ultimately, they don't get any recognition for it. I don't think, do they get a pay, do they get a prize for that? They'll get, yeah, they'll get like a a fantasy, like FPL mug and stuff like that. That's That's the stuff that I dream of. Wait, really? Backing of my cup of tea and like, yeah. Of course what, they do, what, more, and they get like a little, more, foot, a little football and a little backpack and all that kind of jazz. Are you saying that you dream of of drinking out a fantasy Premier League mug more than an elite FPL mug? No, because I've already got an elite FPL mug. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, okay, I didn't know that. They... No, but, but yes, but what I'm saying is, is that these people can. Make a team up week on week. I don't know. No, hang on. I don't think there is a prize for Dream Team. I really don't there's think. A, I'm pretty certain there's a prize for the, whoever gets the top. No, uh, no. There's 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 not a pr- there's there's not a prize for the Dream Team. There's a prize for a monthly prize. So you got weekly prizes. Right, and what is what are what are the weekly prizes? Because I was almost... And oh, hang on, hang on. hang on, hang on, so hang on, hang on. Right. Okay. Uh, right, so you must have... Right, so this is right. So this is something which is uh, interesting. A weekly prize for the top 20 managers each week, including managers of the week. Right? But, uh-huh. but, uh-huh. but, 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 to be eligible... To win a weekly prize, you must have joined the game before the start of the season or a minimum of two clear game weeks before the one in which that you are top of the weekly leaderboard. Players who have played a chip, including the bench boost, free hitch, or captain a wild card, will not be eligible to win a weekly prize for the game week that such a chip has been used. So obviously they're aware of these people that are doing these weekly teams, setting their teams up. So, so you are right. So, uh, so, you are right, so, but it's so. So could you? So, so could you, in essence, then almost put together what you think is your best, like zombie team, build up a bit of value in the said zombie team, and then try and start hitting that weekly prize, and set up about ten email accounts at the start of the season. Yeah, but then if then that's against the TOS and you, you get yourself banned for that. So if you want to do that sort of stuff, then fair play, you know, go ahead. But you risk you risk you get you risk yourself I getting. I wasn't you... saying me. I'm <laughs> no, just saying no, no, no. 
open uh, a bit on that was objectively saying you not not not, <laughs> yeah. not you as a person but like as yeah you know, for the for the sentence for the sentence it was just it was just it was just when you said that and you pointed your finger straight uh, yeah. at me down, <laughs> down, 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 down like, oh right it means me <laughs> um When I came 14th uh, that week last season, top 20 get prizes, but the chips make you void. Oh, wow. So Jordi Kev was actually in the top 20, but he played a chip. Mm. Question is... Has anyone in the elite ever won anything like that then, that you're aware of? Not that I'm aware of. No, not, possibly, but not that I'm aware of. Listen, Lama, I'm going to take another break. Feel free to take over the stream. For... Oh, no, let's do that. Let's do that. I need to refill anyway. Right, we'll take a little break. Five minutes, guys. See you shortly. Take it easy. <laughs> I'll put some more music on for you guys while I'm taking a break. I'm sure I know you guys like it so much. Back in a minute.
<clears throat> Good evening, you're back with myself Jason from Elite FPL for the Saturday FPL Live and with me I'm joined with Harbour Boy, Davey Peep, Hawley, Salt and Pepe, also known as Anish and Daily Lama who's currently on a break at the moment. I've got myself more mocha. Good evening everybody, are you there? Good evening, Watford have just nearly scored in the first minute of the second half as well. Hang on, let's pause the music. Did you just say Watford have nearly scored in the first minute of the second half? Yeah, Pereira's just played staff. Had a shot and tipped it over. Oh, brilliant. Another save point. Keep them coming, Alison. Wow. Crazy. How long's the stream been going on for? Three hours and 40 minutes. Wow. Well, anything happens in this game, I will hear it. Because I'm listening to the radio now. I'm ready for it. Uh, Robertson's playing at right back and Trent's playing at left back now. Yeah, they do that. They swap over. Cathcart is going to get a clean sheet, isn't he? Cathcart is going to troll me and get a clean sheet. What am I thinking? What sort of FPL manager in their own mind benches Cathcart at home to Liverpool? Obviously not. <laughs> Tra -la 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 Tra la 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 I just noticed that I've been on mute for about the last five minutes whilst downing some Peronis. I don't know why you're so chipper. What are you on at the moment, Llama? Uh, I'll probably do. Actually. 14, maybe? Hang on, let's find out. You are on... 13 points minus 4. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, you had, had Stevens. I did. But I had Fernandez. Yeah, you got Fernandez coming off your bench, do you not? No, Fernandez was in there from the start. I was so confident in his ability. So you can see now, Jace, why I need the core to score in Liverpool to then get three. I can see why you need the, the Peroni. <laughs> yeah. What's the plan with Ings then for you now? Oh, Ings isn't going anywhere. What I'm considering next week, though, is I might move Vardy on for Obama Boomerang and then possibly play a bench boost. I might move Taganga up to Reese James. On a minus four, Vardy to Aubameyang, and play a bench boost. Whereabouts? Possibly. Whereabouts are you in the elite Champions League, um, Peg Asian? Because I don't know where you are. Do you know where Peg Asian is in the elite Champions League? Mm. What groups here? Well, I was yeah, just gonna, I was, I was just gonna ask him what what rank he is on the on the league itself, so I can just find him. <clears throat> Sixty-five. He's saying. Oh yeah, find him. <clears throat> Fifteen points. He's currently got. Well. Okay. Salah will get a penalty. In Salah, this. captain Alexander Arnold, Robertson, Pereira, Lascelles, Rico, Ryan. Oh wow. So it's essentially got Calvert Lewin, Jimenez, Traore. Because Rico didn't do anything, did he? Yeah. Does Charlie uh, have? Uh, does Charlie have double defence or double attack for them? Charlie. Yeah. I'm really sorry to see that, big Asian. What? One of his blocks, as in Mr. Chris Packer. <clears throat> yeah. AKA Crinkle Cut. 
think he's got double defense. Yeah, he's got double wrong. defense. He's yeah, got he's Van. He's got Van Dyke. Well. Oh, I'm on five points at the moment. Who he's you are? Yeah. That's a big red arrow, is it not? Yeah, but I've only had three, four players play. <clears throat> <laughs> Sure, Fernandez, captain, that'll do it. No, I've had four players play, and I've got two potential clean sheets coming in from Allison and Alexander Arnold. But I mean, it's just uh, I'm just waiting for um, Salah to score. You know, it's going to happen. So, is your four players including your Liverpool players? Including my Liverpool players, yeah. I only had one player play today. And that was Pereira. Oh, sorry, yesterday, last night. So you've got what two United players, triple Wolves, and correct, and Calvert Lewin and Aurier for Spurs. Yeah, I thought you might have had Aurier. So hopefully, I can have a jammy game week. But the way it's going, I think everyone's gonna have a dismal one other than Boona. Don't remind me. <laughs> oh, Foster Spills, Robertson. Salah, Cathcart heads it back to his goalie, and Cathcart, the man who's sitting on my bench, is on course to get a clean sheet. He's also on course for bonus. Okay. Everyone laugh at me. I think he's on course for. <laughs> he's on course for one or two bonus. This is ridiculous. I, 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 if if he gets a clean sheet, you'll never bench. It would sum. It would just sum up the season. It really would just sum up this season if if Cathcart gets a clean sheet at home to Liverpool. I think it's you know earlier on how you were saying about how it's a roller coaster season and folk were saying oh it's the worst season ever and blah blah blah. I have to agree. Not that I often do agree with you, Jason, but I have to agree. <laughs> I, I think it's just so much better. Do you not yeah. think? Yeah, I think it's when better. It's, so up and down. it's better because. Oh, it's a goal! I think it's just... Salah. Salah. No, Sar. Was it Salah? Oh, did you say... Oh, oh, it sounded like... Sorry, I do apologise. It sounded like the other name. Oh, get it. Decore, I'll get the assist as well. Is it a definite goal? Is that a Decore assist, I hear? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Is it a definite goal? Oh, and oh. it is a Decore assist, by the way. From from the byline. Oh, here he is. Hi, Davey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hi, hi, Davey. Go on, Buna. This is go and just sock it to him. You got all your chips, mate. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Keep, wow. Keep the patient. Keep the belief, mate. It's a long season. <laughs> That's the thing, though, because you're like, ah, oh, there's always next game week. Uh, seven left. Six left. Come on, what the fuck? Let's go. I guess, it well, could, I guess the only way I could be kicked in the nads anymore is if Cathcart headed it out. <laughs> <laughs> or, or or if I just drove to your house nice and just well. actually oh, kicked oh, you square oh, in. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> niche, niche, niche. Triple Liverpool defence, double Brighton defence. Oh, and niche, you might as well send me my money now as well, sunshine. <laughs> Boona, I sense that Boona's a little bit cocky at the moment. I was just, you just took the words clean out my mouth. Then, do you say, do you get that feeling? Love it. How's that? How's that more like garbage? You don't need any honey or anything to add flavour into the sweetness of that. Oh mate, this is feeling sweet, boy. Yeah, just wait till thirty-one. <laughs> you reckon you had your free hit? I, I literally all I can hope for now is Mane to come off with before sixty minutes. Get Mane won't be coming off now. They're desperate for a goal. He'll be staying on. So will Salah, mate. He's, yeah. been, off. He's been shocking. Firmino will come off definitely. Oh, see if Walder Weldum scores. <laughs> Why did I play Trent Alexander Arnold over Cathcart? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh man, I don't know if it's because of how much I've drunk or just 
how funny that comment actually sounds in my headset. Who do Watford play next week? Um, Watford are up against um, Crystal Palace away next week. <clears throat> I was thinking of moving him on. <clears throat> just goes to show how crucial that um, Henderson is to this Liverpool side. That's two games he's been missing now and they've conceded in both and they've actually looked pretty poor in both as well. Yeah, nah, you exactly spot on, but now we're just li- I don't know if you've been listening or that, mate, but we were actually just saying that that the oh, last no, two games. Listened. Okay. Yeah, no, no. Spot on. Well. Say again, sorry. He's on ninety-nine points, Henderson. Is he? I mean, He's I don't see him as an FPL perspective, but I just gen- generally meant, you know, from a footballing perspective, it makes a massive difference for this Liverpool team. I, I must admit, I used to be a big critic of Henderson. I never used to rate him as a player, but the last couple of seasons, he's really developed and come on really strong for Liverpool. <clears throat> That's just Starback as well. So what, 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 they're a different team in South Wales. Mm. Wait, I'm, the, the, the Corey certainly get that uh, assist, yeah? Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. <clears throat> the other yeah. thing with these results is terrible news for Villa with West Ham, Watford, Norwich and Bournemouth all playing with well. Villa is in big trouble. The, the, now, I'm not denying what you've just said, Harbour Boy, but who's really that fussed? Uh, it's just Villa fans <laughs> like me. Especially with West Brom looking yeah. in the Championship. Oh man, imagine if Liverpool actually lost here. Wow. Well, this was, we were talking about this during the week, though, about West Ham, the way they were playing. Well, yeah, I just. Th- I thought it was West Ham up in their game, which they did. Not Liverpool <laughs> playing drab, but. This is obviously a bit of both, I think, with um, Liverpool kind of. Sounds like Liverpool have just not been in the game at all. They've been in it, but Watford have just been pretty solid from what I'm watching. I don't know if the rest of the guys have seen the same. They've not really worked Foster all game. Well, saying that, Robertson is just in. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Apparently, Allison's not on any save points. What? What? I'm be crazy. He saved about three or four, any. What? Liverpool are making a sub, Lallana's coming on. I don't know who for yet. It's got to be one of their um, holding midfielders. It's got to be Wijnaldum or Ox. Who? Or who? Or Fabinho. Um, Lallana's coming Wonder on. Wilder Wildum. It's got to be Wonder Wildum that comes on. On He's been uh, pretty poor. Oh, he's made two saves then, apparently. Uh, they're showing Oxlade, so I'm guessing it's Oxlade that's coming off. He's been quite poor, though. Also, James yeah. been very poor. Well, it's plenty of time for them to get back in the game. 70, 75 minutes. What? 70, 75 minutes. That's, that's what I'm always going to go on at. It's a goal. Two, hang on, hang on, possibly... hang on. It's a goal. Uh, 2 0 South God. Wow. You're joking. Great. What? And it could Minus be one for Robbo. It Uh-oh. could be another Decore assist as well. Oh, don't, Polly. Don't, don't. You're just winding me up. Oh, my God. Oh, Deco- oh Polly is the bad news. This is the game that Liverpool lose. Wow. I don't know about Is that a Decore assist? Beanie. Assist. Beanie. Yeah, Dini assist. Wow. Smiley saw. Why, but it's right, a sad right. double, though. What are Watford fixtures? Ooh. Was that ball off? What is going that on? A sweet finish, though. That was, like, he wobs. He basically digs it for hours. Didn't the ball go out there? That's a hell of a fin. That, that's a great fin. Jason, wait till you see this back live. That's a yeah, great that finish. Is a, that is, that, that's a clinical finish. That's, that's just... Oh, that's oh my awesome. God. Saar comes back from injury and absolutely tears Liverpool apart. The pace and power of him as well. Like, he, he just leaves Van Dijk and he's dust. 
Okay. Oh, nah, this is where this is where you put a tenner on Liverpool to win three two. Oh yeah, uh -huh. I lost enough money financially today. I'm good. <laughs> it's like what a uh, what's his name, Gorilla Snow, saying in chat. Liverpool no, to win not, three. Not, do they not have to concede three goals to get minus one? With defenders. Nah, two, two, two. Just a two. It's, but three, that... it's three saves for goalkeepers to gain a bonus uh, at one point. Two goals conceded. Yeah, and then if they get a yellow so, card like so what, what Stevens did. Describe to me how the goal happened, sorry. Uh, so, so, on you go, uh, on you go. All right, well, um, the ball's about to go out for a throw, and then before the whole ball crosses the line, Dini just whacks it, uh, a through ball along the ground towards Saar. Saar's level with uh, on the last man with Van Dyke, and he just speeds past them, drives through, and then dinks it over um, Allison, who's out, who's rushing out of the goal. Origi's kind of good. Oh my but god. It's a really good finish, Jason. Origi and Lilana, I imagine. Like Dini. 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 For, for Mane and Salah. Lilana's <laughs> already But that win Aldum. Oh, Wan Aldum came off, did he? Oh my Trent. days. What was Trent doing there? <laughs> I mean, Dini, Dini scooped it from the side of the park towards Sar. He's just kind of scooped it and just. And it's ended up as a through ball. But what a finish by Sam. Yeah, I love you. That's a very good finish. That sums up this game week, though, eh? Oh, for sure, Buna, definitely. For most people. Not for me, because I've got Decore. And is he, did he assist? Nah, it was Dini that assisted that one, but he assisted early. <laughs> Anyone in our um, Cashmere League that's got Sar? I know he's been injured, but. Anyone? I, I, I literally. Clap the person and bringing in Saren. It's nice to see Van Dyke a little bit rattled. Saar could be a good option, actually. How I can I'm tempted to do Traore to Saar. Oh come on, Davy. You've never you were never doing that like what? I, I could. Thirty minutes ago. I could do that. I can afford that. Yeah, value it the game because has to go on. The, the fixtures are really nice as well. Away at Crystal Palace, okay, Leicester at home is a bit, well, I don't know, actually. I think home to Leicester, you could do well. Burnley away, Southampton at home, Chelsea away. Well, we all know what Chelsea are like. Oh, Saar. Another chance for Saar. No, it was Williams. I think that's his name. Well, he is, you mean. Hughes. Will Hughes. Will Hughes. Will, yeah. Uh, yeah. Will Hughes. Saab blocked it in front of Allison. Oh, oh. Pereira. They're ripping them apart. It sounds. It sounds on the radio like like Watford are absolutely ripping Liverpool apart right now. They are. Yeah, they are. I can concur, Jason. <laughs> that, that it's also visually that way. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna get Sarin. Do it now, Jason. Yeah, I'm doing it now. <laughs> I'm doing it now. I'm getting him in. I'm knee jerking. No, you're, no, you're not. You ain't got the bottle to do it now, Jason. You could get injured in five minutes' time. I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> coin toss. Coin. Oh, no, toss, no, 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 coin. no, no. Hey, Lewis Kirby's waiting to get in, Jason. Is he? All right, drag him in then. There we go. Hey, Lewis, how you doing? Who's that coming off? Is that Ox? Ox. Yeah, Ox. Ox yeah. Lewis, how you doing? They've got all out attack now. Oh, you all right? Freaky. Yeah, I'm. I'm I mean, I'm in shock, Lewis. I'm in absolute shock at the moment. Liverpool are losing two 0 away at Watford, and I've got Cathcart on my bench. <laughs> I know, but knowing Liverpool, they'll get two jammy goals and end up drawing at the end. You know what Lewis. you Liverpool like this season? Yeah. Lewis, can I can I ask you a question? Yeah, go for it. Do you stay? Do you stay in your FPL penguin? I don't know. Where does it? Where does he? Where's he from? I'm pretty sure he's like for two streets away from you because the two of you sound dead similar. He probably is, mate. Well, I'm from Preston, so if he's from Preston as well, then. Oh! I'm going to oh, hook, oh. I'm hook the two of you. So up. almost scored again. <laughs> no, that was Lalana, mate. I don't know how Sasar was going to score that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've not heard what he what he sounds like to be honest. Oh, you're not. No. I'll, I'll, I'll Lilana. 
Was it Lalana? Lalana, yeah. yeah. Well, why did the commentator say almost scores again? What the? What the? What am I listening to? <laughs> Ca- ca- you, yeah. Carry on, what carry on. <laughs> CBBS, carry on. CBBS. <laughs> Telly Tubby say, uh oh. Oh God. So Lewis, how how are you finding this game week, mate? <laughs> well, for me, it's actually been all right. To be fair, only because of one result, that nil nil. We knew Castle and Burnley, that were perfect for me. I've got Pope and Lascelles both starting. Oh, okay. So that was, that, that, yeah, that was a gorgeous result for me. Everyone else has blanked. I've had, I've got two players left to play. I've got Traore and Jimenez. As, 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 has Buna told you how his game week's gone? Yeah, you've seen it on Twitter. Yeah, I've seen it, yeah, I've seen it. He's some boy, um, isn't he, that Buna? Yeah, I know. The, the, thing, he, the, the thing he was about to... um. He's about to bench Alonso for sure. <laughs> and my yeah, what was it? That. What made you change your mind on that, Bruno? No, I asked the guys, who do you think I should bench? Regardless, even if I'd gone Shaw and benched Alonso, Alonso would have come on because Shaw didn't come Actually, on. Actually, yeah. Messina's Masin- yeah, had a good game as well. He's on bonus two. Saar with another chance. Um, I don't know what you guys can say about the visual um, element of that chance uh, for Saar. I'll but... tell you what, though. I was actually I was very close to bringing in either Saar or Barry Bowen. But I thought, nah, I'll hold off to that for the Liverpool game. And I didn't bring oh. Bowen in because I didn't think he was going to start. As if you were going to bring Saar in against Liverpool. Pipe I was, down. Yeah, I would just, I would just <laughs> look at well, no, I'm not against Liverpool. That's what I mean. I was, gonna, I was thinking, oh, I'll just wait till after the Liverpool game. Well, every man and their dog's going to have Sarah right. in come two game weeks, mate. Who do you think's on bonus three at the moment? Oh, let's get Saar. on the bandwagon. Who's Saar. on the bonus? Sarah is Sarah is is guaranteed bonus three. He's on forty four okay. BPS. Decoding. He's got Messina bonus two and Cabaselli bonus one. What? And where's Decore? Uh, Decore is <laughs> not not near. Um, I think he's a few points away. I is can't see the. Let's quickly check my overall rank, shall we? Tell you go on, then. Oh go my go god! god. If Watford pull out this, if Watford pull out this result, I'm gonna be buzzing. I think they will pull it out, but Liverpool will get a goal back. Arsenal fans as well. I still can't believe that I benched Cathcart. <laughs> you should have bench boosted me. <laughs> that still sounds hilarious through I hate it. Watford won't keep a clean sheet. Liverpool will score, so don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm with you, but no one that one. Cathcart over Salah. How funny will it be if Cathcart scores the same amount of points as Salah, Alexander Arnold, Pereira and Alisson? <laughs> How funny is it that DVP, as soon as Bunas came in, has exited the building? Has he gone, has he? Has he run <laughs> off with it? He chucked his toys at the pram, has he? Poor little DVP. I'm just picking up rattles round about me then now. Blimey, mate. Do you know what this means now, Do you think if I leave, you might come back? This, I reckon <laughs> this means if... Um... As soon as Liverpool have mathematically, mathematically won the title, they won't be going for any records or anything, so they'll fully rotate for the Champions League. What, do you think there'll be rotation now? Say that again, sorry, you cut out I'm a bit. So, Sorry, I'm just saying, do you think there could be more rotation now? I didn't hear what you said again, you cut out at the same bit. It's, it's, it's fine, do you think, what are you, what are you saying, Lama? I was just saying, after what Lewis was talking about, do you think there could be more chance of rotation now at Liverpool? Oh yeah, that, that's what I mean. The will, I reckon they're 100% going to rotate now. Because they won't be going for any unbeaten records route, so... See, I thought they were always going to... It make sense for him to be playing full strength in the league. The league's done. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm with... Sorry, right. I, I must have not listened or heard you right the first time sorry Lewis I've, yeah I'm the same as you I think they'll always play a strong team until this league's done 
Lewis, yeah. Lewis is saying that he that they won't because they've lost the if they they'll potentially lose the hundred percent record now. Wait, there. I'll exit the chat and come back in because Lewis is permanently on for me. Lovren. Is Lovren had a real bad game? Mm, yeah. It's not looked sharp. And Van Dyke's been average. The whole, I think Liverpool in general have been average. <laughs> Pascal Saiga. Did it. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Al says this shows the detrimental effect of the winter break since then Liverpool have been abysmal. This got... Oh no! Sa! It's a no. goal! It's no. a goal! It's a hat no. trick for Sar! Oh, Alexander no. Arnold! No, it's it's Dini. Dini Hang on! Oh my days! Wait, he passed it to Dini, did he? Yeah, Dini Actually. Scored, yeah. Oh, wow. right. What is going wow. on? What is going on? What for triple up, what? <laughs> Nigel Kitchen just standing there like, I'm not too sure what's going on, boys. Have I been transported to a parallel universe where all of a sudden Watford are the, the, the main team to get on top of, of FPL assets in the Premier League? What is going on? Wow. Is this a one-off? That's, what, that's the Champions League. basically what happens when... Um, going so Trent Alexander-Arnold Howler, can you tell me about it? Yeah, it did a back pass that went straight to Saar. Uh, oh, that was... Uh, yeah, it was Trent. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Come on, I wouldn't mind oh, yeah. another fourth one for a minus <laughs> Robertson and Trent. One more, please, boy. This is a crazy. I don't want any more. <laughs> Why couldn't Steve well, captain Trent Alexander Arnold? Who's, 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 who's Steve O got? Mane. And his line? No, but is it Salah, Mane, Mane and Trent? Yeah. Oh, same as me then. Well, as you're, be, you're, you're certainly rubbing your hands, Jason. No, I'm not. I'm on six points, <laughs> minus four, and, and then I've Fernandez got. Fernandez turns up tomorrow. But that's what going to get me what at best twenty points. I mean, oh. I. But no, I can. I've, I've just got an image of you just strutting about your house with your shoulders right back. I mean, I'd like a Mane goal, a Salah goal. I don't really want to end up on, well, these points that I'm ending up on. I need, I need Williams to not play for Man United away at Everton for for Cathcart to come on or uh, Traore. The average is going to be about fourteen. I dreamed a dream. This will be the lowest average of the season by far. This is a shocker, by the way. I don't believe. I don't believe this. I just want to say thanks, Jason, because you usually send me to really bad games to commentate on. <laughs> this is just well. What what is this going to do to Watford's confidence? This is I wonder, I wonder what Liverpool... now on a Liverpool draw or a win. Can Liverpool throw the league away at this? What was the odds for a Liver... for a Watford three 0 victory over Liverpool? That would have been stupid money. Yeah, I was going to say. Liverpool were 8-1 to one to win it 2 nil down. Yeah. No, I saw it 12-1. to one. Um, Yeah. Someone would have done it as a joke, but only put a couple of quid on. Amount of money bookies would have won today. Oh, that's a coupon buster right there. It's an FPL buster. Yeah, Bilal says, I completely agree with uh, uh, Nick Patel saying 250 to 1, he reckons, for Watford to, uh, to win 3 0. Um, Bilal says, getting in Saar could be a great shout even before his injury. He was in red hot form. I couldn't agree, agree more. Bilal, he was in hot form. He's a great player.
if Liverpool somehow collapse and lose the league, I think that would never be. Liverpool fans would never hear the end of that. I think it would be it would go down as the. It, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But hypothetically, if it did, it would go down as the biggest shock in football. I would imagine. They have to lose every single game now, though, don't they? Yeah, it's I just, think so. It's not yeah. going to happen. They'd have to lose like yeah every game essentially. Every maybe game. maybe draw maybe one. Draw. Yeah. Yeah, on Sky Bet, you can't even bet on anyone else winning league this year. Because huh? they've, they've took that market off completely. I can't believe I can't we believe that. Imagine, imagine what people must be thinking if they got the Akers right. Somehow, they 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 said that Palace were going to win away from home. They got through today's fixtures. And they get to this game. <laughs> I mean, they're just... Oh, yeah. Imagine that. They must just be... <laughs> <laughs> like what Cameron's saying in chat. Just cancel the game week. Oh, my days. What was that from Firmino? Gabriel Rorot. Worst game season, game week of the season. This could 23 be. 23 points with only Aurier left. This could be the worst game week of the season. And let me just check what Steve-O's points total is because Steve-O, of course, decided to take a minus 12. Oh, oh, yeah. Stephen's going to end up on minus points for the entire game. <laughs> Steve can you imagine? Can you imagine if he never made it into no, positive points? Can I, can I let you guys into a little secret? So this is Steve-O's team. He doesn't know the okay. scores. He doesn't know the scores at the moment. He's at a gig. Oh, is he match of the, is he match of the day, isn't it? He might be. Or he oh, might just be blimey. reacting live. He might just be reacting live to the scores. When he wow. sees things doesn't start. Oh my word. And he, and he could be doing a stream later today around 10 o'clock-ish. Uh, oh, we're all going to be tuning um, in for that then. Me I, me no I, I'll, be get, I'll be getting the popcorn in the oven ready. Um, I just think this uh, this is Steve-O's team. So he's currently on 10 points with Jimenez, Holgate and Jota. To play, so like, with so Williams like what, bonnet, yeah. So like what, so like what Coley Foots is saying in chat that Steve was still on a minus two. Is correct. that right? That's correct. Firmino's yeah. Off. Firmino's come off for Mina Mino. <laughs> Steve is still on a minus two. The, Steve the... has got seven off at bench though from Port. Oh, you've lucky. Ten ten. No, ten, ten. ten. ten yeah. So he's on eight points. Oh, yeah. because he done that childish thing, didn't he? Oh, the childish. Bloody mature thing. That Ten you... with six <laughs> players to play. To be fair. Ten with six. Yeah. yeah he's got Wally but he's, he hasn't got his Wally, captain. Yeah. He hasn't got his captain. So I reckon he's going to end up with 30, 34 points. How long is Jordan Henderson out for? A couple of weeks. It was apparently. So maybe we'll be back in a week or two. Hmm. That's that's that was well deduced still. there, Buna. He's going to be out for a couple of weeks. When will he be back? Maybe in one or two weeks. <laughs> Do you guys oh, reckon the little trip still essential, or is anyone thinking of getting any of them out? Right, guys, not, this is a good either, this either is a good moment in time. If if um, if you like the stream, I can guarantee that Salah will score for Liverpool. <laughs> Uh, and if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Join up on Discord as well, please, if yeah. you don't mind. Oh, what much a appreciated. Challenge. That was a ball in from Trent, blocked out, I think, by Messina again. They've been, they've been really good centre ass for Watford today. We've been streaming for four hours and 13 minutes. You've got to go for the five hours, mate. No, mate. <laughs> This has been the worst game week of this season for me. Imagine streaming for four hours on the worst game week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Purely. I mean, I'm glad. I'm glad, Boone. I am so glad that you're having a good game week. I, I mean, and the fact that you remind us all about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I reminded you about Jared. it. Elite Jared should have scored a lot, lot more than he did. He missed a few guilt-head chances, apparently. <sighs> Elite FBL, the game week. Tell you what, though, how do you go from losing three? <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you there. 
I was just gonna say, how do you go from losing 3 0 to United to battering Liverpool 3 0? I know. What a difference. A, day a week, mates. Yeah, but didn't put. This is the difference when you start playing the best defender in the world, if you know, you know. Cut the card. <laughs> no. Do you remember when Lovren oh, was oh, oh. the best? Oh! Oh, Saar was through again for a hat trick, but steers it wide. Oh, wow. That's a bad man. How many transfers in do you reckon he's got already? <laughs> Let's have <sighs> Who would have predicted what has happened this week in fantasy football? I'm going to tell you now not many people. And there's going to be a lot of people out there that have taken oh, a minus that's... eight and a minus twelve, <laughs> Steve, and they're going to be in a lot of bother, a lot of pain. And that was a really bad miss, by the way. It Sarge's just came through on the Sky now. Sports. Trent's pushing. Sarge. Hang on, was that yellow? Hang on. Something about Trent Alexander Arnold there? Yeah, he just gave Sarah a push, trying to push him off the pitch. He didn't get a yellow, did he? I don't think he did. Oh, I hope he didn't. Pesetto has just come on. He's supposed to be quite good, isn't he? This, in a way, this is what I love about football. I love the they fact. They up. And I can see Trent pushing him off, but there's no way they're making up three goals in this amount. And what? Ten minutes, maybe. Yeah, seven and a half plus added time. It's crazy to think that I called Pereira the best. Well, arguably the best player. Sorry, not Pereira. Sorry, Delafeu, the best player for Watford. But since he was subbed off for of Pereira, they've scored three goals, and saar has been pretty much involved in all of them. Saar is surely the the main the main man at uh, Watford then. Captain Obvious. I'm not really up on my Watford players. Sar midfielder, yeah. On FPL, I mean. Mm. Watford yeah, breaking is it, is again. 6.2 midfielder. Wow. I'm, I'm still shocked. Like, I just don't, did not see this coming. Nah, I've never seen this one coming. I don't think anyone's seen this coming. I'll tell you now, guys. Right, let's just, let's, right. Comment in the stream. If you're watching this back on the replay, all right. If you're watching this back on the replay, comment on the stream. Of your thoughts on this game week, and you get automatically drawn into a prize to win a shiny magma Pokemon card. <laughs> there you go. Junior prize? I've already got that one. I don't know if I've <laughs> got that one actually. <laughs> Oh, hey, talking about the past, do you remember the days as well at primary school when you used to swap uh, like stickers and that in the playground? Got, got, need, got, got. That's Mane to Salah. Mane. Oh, prodded away. Lalana. Looks like Liverpool are finally uh, threatening the uh, Watford. Uh, Penalty area. <coughs> Maybe I'm not going to get rid of Kafkar after all. Oh no, he's a season keeper. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same yeah. with the Corey. Yeah, the the rest of the uh, three percent of the play, play, teams that have him agree. Oh, I can't believe this. I'm on two points at the moment. So 
sum up your game week, uh, Jason? <sighs> Abysmal. Can you, can uh, oh, I was just about to say, can you sum it up in one word? Abysmal is the word. That is the word I can use to sum up. But no, what about you? What what one word would you use to sum up your game week? Weird. <laughs> Wonder welder. <laughs> Harbour boy, how's the guys over in New Zealand uh, calculating up this game week? Uh, we're still a bit baffled. We, we need to go get our morning coffee and uh, see if it was just a dream. <laughs> Anish, I don't know if Anish is still there or if his mum's come into his room again. Because he's got triple Liverpool, in he, in defence? Yeah, it's gone. He muted his mic when first goal went in. Lewis, how would you sum it up? Oh, it's fully action in here, Jason. I think a lot of people are just um, just dumbfounded. I think they're just they're just not wanting to talk about it. Um, but it's a good time to talk about it. Vent your anger, vent your frustration. I mean, what can you do? Everyone else is in this. A lot of people are in the same, uh, oh my god, I've just seen something linked in Discord. What? No way. What? Uh, okay. Someone's uh, linked a bet uh, on a Watford 3-0 win over Liverpool in Discord. Huh? What, Fred's in? Uh, in general. Yeah, but I don't get that. They've staked seventy four dollars and they returned five hundred and eighteen dollars. Oh, it's just the it's just the Watford win. It's not the not actually three nil that they've betted on. Oh, is it? Yeah. A plus. I was I was good. I was thinking I was thinking that the the payout was a low. Yeah, I mean, if if that if they had actually predicted three nil Watford, I think that would have been that would have added a few zeros. Grand, yeah. yeah. Would have added a few zeros to it, yeah. A plus, you'll actually find that that's in the wrong thread, so I might just put that guy in a time. <laughs> just... <laughs> I'm only joking, I'm only joking. Cash out, mate, 500 quid. No, I'm joking. Just notice Hex76 has just left the server. He's in and out here like the dusty blue belt. Is that enough? The core has been subbed off on Lucky Llama. No more um, points for him. Oh, thanks for that, Boona. But you get the nice clean cheat point. Oh, yeah, baby. You know. Yeah. I'm just going to check live FPL that I don't see where I'm at. Are you boys going to be in... Um, anyone going to be in Hangouts after this stream? I might have to have myself another mocker. Yeah, I'll no, probably I'm be off... catching up on the new Al Pacino series on oh, Amazon. I've just got into Narcos, and I'm going to be taking a trip down to Sainsbury's to get myself some stuff for the house. <laughs> some Do you want to go into detail? <laughs> <laughs> Plus, to be honest, Bernard, I wouldn't need to be in Hangouts to hear your gloating for here. Um, I don't really feel like gloating, I'm not going to lie. How many points do you want, Boona? Uh, let me have a look. 41, I think. It's decent. How many... Uh, have you got an airborne plane? <laughs> There's not anyone there. Dan, Dan, come on the stream, mate. Come on the stream. Feel free to come in. I've just went into live FPL and I've never seen my team look so much like a rainbow in my life with people that are playing, due to play, due to come off the bench, due to... I, I'm just hoping that um, Aurier doesn't play or just by any chance Williams or um, 
then Donka gets rested or something. That'd be nice. Stream has really gone on for so long. Play. I hope Triori starts. It depends if um, we play a five at the back or a four at the back. If we play yeah, three, I know. we'll get in ahead of him. Well, yeah, I think they'll play five. Is it? Is it it's got to be almost full time now, isn't it? Surely. Yeah, nine. Well, I'm on ninety minutes plus oh four, so God. it's probably about ninety-one minutes. Or something. Four, minutes. four hours and twenty-five minutes. The stream has been going for guys. If that isn't deserving of a like, a like, I do not know what is. Piss, please. Hit that like button and. Uh, and uh, to subscribe to Elite FPS. Hey Dre, what's it going on, man? Hey. Oh man, oh man, I, I love my team. Liverpool is great. Hey, yeah, your team Liverpool are still top of the league by a fair amount of points, and, and uh, this is just this is nothing. This is purely a a blip in the uh, in the champion uh, I know. championship winning team. Um, it just means that Arsenal I mean, get to keep the invincible title. I mean. I've got 18 points so far, so have a great game week, lads. 18 points, but have you taken a hit? No. Well, guess what? I'm on six points, and I took a minus four. Steve-O well, is, on, is on 10 points, and he took a minus 12. But he has got poker off the bench. So there are people worse off. You know what? I don't feel so bad, so... <laughs> I've just, worked, I've just worked out my pre-free hit team. If I'd taken an additional minus four, which I would have done to do like Vardy to Ihan Nacho probably after we got the team release, I would have been on 26 minus 12 with just Saiz to go. So I'd been on 14 points. Instead, I'm on 41 with uh, Fernando. Oh. So. Wayne journey. Right, well, Boona, stop talking about your team, mate. 27 points, you know, so I'm kind of feeling quite smug about it. And I think, yeah, you know, so so basically what you're saying it. is, if you hadn't free hit, you would have just been like the rest of us. Basically, yeah. Yeah, but you're not you're normal, running though, Boona. Running out of that gym to free hit is the best thing you've done, eh? Yeah, man. Right. <laughs> Blow up, ref. It's the end of the game. Well, I'm just hoping that um, my mate Fernandez tomorrow can get himself a goal or an assist, minimum. I think, yeah, you're you're looking in quite a good position, I think, Jace. Well, let's not jinx anything, shall we? I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone been watching the stream since the beginning? I think Chelsea Fly has been with us. Fantasy Football Focus joined us later in. I have. We've all been here. Well, I've only just finished work 25 minutes ago, but uh, I just, I just come finish work. Full time. Like, wow. Full time. There we go. Game's over. Turn the radio <laughs> yes. off. Wow. Liverpool losing 3-0 away at Watford. Fair play to Watford. Well done. Getting those points. And Ishmael Saar, Ishmaeli Saar, whatever his name is. Wow, absolutely <laughs> amazing! It's it's Mailer Sar. Sorry, I've I've got Decore first bench guy. Life is great. Uh, oh, you copycat, Dre. Dre, just just. Well, do you have it? I, I'm sick. Right, okay, go on, go on. So you jammy points off the bench. No, no, I don't think I'll get points off the bench. Why? Because I think every one of my starting eleven will play. Right. Well, who have you got left to play? I have. I'll have a quick look. I have Jimenez and Bergwin left. Oh, unlucky. It's okay. It's all right. I'll, 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 it's okay. Like you said, um, it's only a game, right? Well, I've dropped to 331,000. I was 240,000. Uh, my net score is uh, <laughs> um, two points. Um, yes, you did hear that correctly. Two points. I've got... Uh, how, 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 how many was that, Jason? I've got Williams, Ori, Dendonca, Traore, Hernan F Fernandez, sorry. Uh, Javier, uh, Javier Herman... I, I, what, 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 what am I talking about? Jimenez, 
Well, was gonna, well done. <laughs> Walder, Walder, Walder Frey. Uh, Calvert-Lewin uh, yet to play. Um, so I'm hoping that tomorrow is a strong day for me. I'm I'm in need of some well-deserved rest. Um, it's been going on for, for four and a half hours. This is became, beginning to be like a Stevo pre-season stream. Um, but if you've enjoyed it, please uh, hit that like button, subscribe, and um, we'll talk about it more, I'm sure, um, later on in the week. We're going to have Steve-O doing a stream later. I hope later today Steve-O will do a stream. He did mention it to me on WhatsApp that um, he would be doing one. Um, I think dumbfounded is is the key word for a lot of people at the moment. Um, the results have just been very surprising. Real uh, benefits, I think, people will be laughing, are the people that own Newcastle uh, defensive assets, uh, Pope or other Burnley players. Um the likes of Boona, who's got Jammy. Boona, are you there? Is Boona gone? Anyway, no, he's muted. He's muted. Uh, no, to be fair, well done to Boona. Uh, he started off. What did you say, Jason? Nothing, nothing, mate. Nothing, nothing. Okay. Uh, it's good. Um, congratulations, Boona. I was just saying congratulations again, dude. And um, thank you for joining. No worries, mate. Cheers. Right, I'm going to shoot off, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. And look look out for a Llama Lounge tomorrow as well. La um, is that going to be likely to be going ahead? Still? Yeah, so Firetog and I will be doing uh, an Elite Champions League overview and insight um, probably over the next couple of days. Whether we do it live or not, we're not quite sure yet. But there will be a video coming to the channel within the next two days from the Llama Lounge. <sighs> Dre, man. Thank you ever so much. Why you didn't need to do that? Just, thank you. I just got just wanted to see the gif of me dancing like a like a dad, basically. Um, so thank you, dude. Uh, what what have you got? Any final thoughts, Dre, before we wrap this up? Well, guys, regardless of what, what, how many points you have, whether it's high or low, <laughs> give the FPL a go. Give it a like. <laughs> subscribe and sayonara and goodbye very good it's very poetic i like it but before he's before we get good. he is very good he's, he's naturally poetic um uh you should make a career in it uh one rover's vlogs has joined us i know charlie um you were in the waiting room and um we're, we're almost finishing the stream now but i'm going to let you have your say um and um paulie as well um charlie are you there yeah i'm here how's it going jason uh, in, in in literally, we're going to be wrapping up in five minutes. Talk to me. What is this game week been? It's been a disaster, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, put it this way: my highest scoring player so far is Ben Foster. <laughs> that just sums it up. Hey, at least you've got Ben Foster, though. <laughs> yeah, but literally, I've got like zero points from Stevens, two points from Pereira, one point from Ings. Oh, it's been Charlie. Where are you in the cash league? I've dropped. I I was tenth. I I dropped down to seventeenth though. Charlie, I'm gonna I'm bring. Live. I'm gonna try and bring you up. Hang on. Where are you? What's your team it's name again? Embarrassing. Um, the FPL Chris Packet. Whereabouts are you? You say? Yeah, you 10th. can see him there, tenth. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I see him. The FPL Chris <laughs> Packet. You're on nine points. So you're nine points minus four. <laughs> Button obviously didn't play. Foster coming on. So that's where the fortune ends. Vardy Ings. Oh, you got st well, that that's just unfortunate. Pereira, uh, Alexander Arnold, Van Dijk. Stop! Stop laughing, Jason. Stop. If there was ever a time to have a bad game week, though, it'd be this one. Pretty much yeah. everyone's having a bad game week, unless you're Boona. Uh, shocking. Yeah, unless you're Boona. Yeah. I tend to have more points with Steve doing the live streams. No offence, Jason, says Christoph in chat. No offence taken, Christoph. <sighs> I tend to have I tend to have more points than Steve O too. Um but uh, no, chin up, chin up, um Charlie, it's uh, just one week. Um Paulie, um final thoughts on this game week. Uh, I just want to wake up in the morning tomorrow and it be Friday morning again. Wouldn't it be nice? So it's all just one big dream. Yeah. I didn't need to take a minus four, did I, to bring in Pereira? I could have just played Cathcart. 
<laughs> yeah, he's probably getting bonus, is he not? Oh, no, 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 he's not going to get a bonus. The bonuses are going to Saar, understandably. Um, the last I checked, it was Saar... Uh... Sardini and Messina. Yeah, Sardini and Messina. He's not far off, Lord Cathcart. Yeah. yeah. Right, thank you ever so much for joining. I appreciate it, and I'll see you hopefully soon. I'm going to be travelling down to the land of the sun, also known as Torbados. Um, tomorrow um, so I won't be doing a live stream tomorrow um, we'll be back on late on, on Monday so I might not be doing a live stream until next Thursday Steve will be doing a stream later on today or at least that's what he told me failing that he should be hopefully doing one before the end of the game week um, look out for the Llama Lounge as well tomorrow like Llama said keep an eye on Twitter you'll post out on that and in Discord as well if you're not part of a Discord join our Discord if you're not part of our uh, community um, hit the subscribe button join us on social media there we go it's all done Any, anything else before we turn off no just take care cool. guys take, take care play it safe take care bye now cheers lads bye lads